No, you see, Jasmine, that's what I've been saying, is they don't put any of the fun stuff in ARAMs. Like, ARAM players, ARAM players just get hung out to dry. It's supposed to be the consistent, fun, funny mode. And what is it instead? They've like got this amount of players in the mode that have basically decided that if it doesn't specifically cater to them enough, then they're just not interested at all anymore. And I'm like, bruh. I can't handle it. I was adjusting the ISO. Adjusting the ISO on my camera there a little bit. All right. I think we got everything in a pretty nice spot. Let's play some games. Let's play some games. Let's go. I'm just going to jump right into it, guys. Welcome. It's Tuesday. It's kind of chilling. Feeling good. Need more trains in life in general. I do. I do like trains. I. It, it is. It is a fantasy that I have dreamed about. You know, someone's. Someone's like. You see that meme? It's like, oh, he's probably thinking about other girls, but it's actually just the guy being like, man, I really wish there were high-speed rails across the U.S. You know. How cool would that be? How cool would that be if we could take we could take a freaking train to you know take a nice nice uh, passenger class little bullet train out to Scranton or something, right? How cool would that be? Go across the country in a few short few short uh, days. Be dope. Where's my where's my cross cross country? Luxury passenger trains that cost nothing because they're subsidized by the government. It's so easy to get around Europe, bro. It's so easy. It was crazy. I had no idea what I was doing. I couldn't communicate with anybody. I didn't speak anybody's language. And I figured that shit out pretty easily. And you know, I'm I'm not that smart. So if I can if I can do it, anybody can. It's fun. We need a we need a train system like that. That would be amazing. I would I would I would love that. Then everybody can be hammered all the time. Oh, it's a Terran. He's a Terran player. Bad news. We hear you. Last couple of streams, the first game of the day was against a Terran, and I got proxy maraudered both times. Does it mean anything? Does correlation equal causation? No, I, I don't think so. Command center upgrade. Closed captions went away. Twitch. Oh, did the closed captions derp? It should be running. It should be running. It's a se it's a setting that you toggle in the like the gear menu on Twitch. If the, if you don't see them, there might still be a toggle there for them, or there might be a bug. There might be a bug. I was uh, I was actually going to mention that. Uh, okay, so it's working for Verm. Okay, that's good to know. I was actually going to say that I, this week. I, I wasn't going to mention this, but since since we're talking about it, um, I have the capability to also send the captions into a source on the stream. So hypothetically speaking, I could just make it so that the, the, the captions for the stream uh, go to a specific place, more or less. So that's, that's on the table anyway. Hey, he had three Reapers, so it looks looks like we're getting... Giga proxied, I guess. 
Is rapid fire a move normal? No, no, no. I just use it so that I ha I have to click less. That's all. It's just uh, it's an ergonomic thing. I have it on a lot of keys. Yeah, I use I use rapid fire on a lot of stuff because a uh, nobody nobody actually thinks that the APM doesn't count when you use it for some reason. Because people are like really self-conscious about their what like how they view themselves for playing StarCraft, you know. So you get you get all the all the self-conscious types. They they're big on they're like really important for them to pretend APM still means something. So no matter how high you artificially crank it, like nobody will question you or hold you accountable. So you can just have it at whatever you want. But everybody's like, yeah, well. Rapid fire is a part of the game, and that means skill. And rapid fire APM counts as much as any other APM. It's like, okay, okay, go off, King. What an absolutely ridiculous game. What is it? Absolutely ridiculous. I don't know what the hell's going on anymore. We have entered we have entered the freaking twilight zone, boys. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Just die, just die already. Got him. Yeah, you know what? I'll take a tank. Take a tank. Marine's got like two health. We can kill him. Yeah, that's fine. We got two more battle cruisers en route at home. Let's get another base. Send him back. He's got 45 kills. Are you not entertained? Is that not enough for you? Not enough. Not not enough for you to love me. No. It's okay. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Good to see you, by the way, ZJM. That siege tank is trolling. Yeah, I. Pff. This is why I love, man. This is why I love. I get it. It's like they. It's like they say you get. You fight against certain types of people. You, they're like, oh, don't let them get you to the ground. And it's like, oh, don't let Nathan turn it into an air game. 
Nathan gets those cruisers out, it's it's all ogre. You know, I love to complain about getting cheesed a lot, but the reality is if you don't cheese me, your odds of winning are somewhere in the realm of 2 to 3%, so... At the same time, I have to be at least somewhat self-aware, right? At least a little bit. The writers, the writers demanded. They told me I couldn't be a complete himbo. Although, that is what I asked for. Mineral field. Yep, he goes home first. And him next. There we go. We got another stim. What's going on? And then he's going to try to cross the map and realize that it's full on. Um, it's full on. Uh, Was it Jack Quaid? Uh, <laughs> field of Dreams. <laughs> it's going to be great. It's going to be great. Do you guys think, do you guys think that uh, his kid will ever, no, Jack is the kid. Dennis Quaid is the guy, sorry. Do you guys think, do you guys think Jack Quaid will ever do a remake of Field of Dreams in his dad's honor? Do you think that'll ever happen? Did I just, have I mixed up the actors somehow here? Oh, juicy. Yeah, let's just take more bases, huh? Why not? Feeling strong. Nundale. Yeah, we're going to need more stop points. Now the thing is, you do want to have six. Six battle cruisers is enough to one shot a base. So in order for me to kill him, I'm, I'm gonna have to do a little bit, a little bit more legwork. So this one won't be a base snipe. This will just go for units and infrastructure. Otherwise, otherwise as well undo towards. Now let's. How about this? We just kill his starport. Savvy. And then TP the weak one, TP the weak one. Get the uh, get the dropped depot, get the dropped depot. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Weak one's on me. Oh, well, one done. Big key master versus gatekeeper energy. We've got a lot of money rolling in now. My SCV count's a little low, but I'm getting orbitals. I'm getting additional orbitals, so it's gonna it's gonna be okay. Got some, new toys. Your is some additional orbitals, anyway. But now I can start one tapping his bases, so that's gonna be pretty big. It'll be rather significant. My mineral income is still going to be affected by the, the lack of workers, though. Did I start 2 2? Okay, let's get that first. Okay, we can one shot a base, so we just need to approach from the outside. We just swing we just swing from the outside. We should be okay. What's going on? Well Nate, move your SCVs to the gold base, brah. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Perfect. 
What are you mining from the other side for? What are you doing? Your SCVs are being liberated in the worst way. Home. Home. What is it? What are you doing? No, people still people still act like APM's a really big deal. They're like they're like, well, APM was a big deal. It's like it's like when it became more affordable to buy like fancy china plates, and then people were like, well, now there's no real value in owning them. But then all the people that couldn't have fancy china china plates were like, oh well, now that it's not a classes thing anymore, we finally have them. And they're like, they still kind of try to pretend like fancy china plates matter or are important. And then, you know, you know, it's kind of kind of like that. So people, people like they finally feel like they have a mechanic that allows them to catch up with with people in terms of APM, which used to be really important. But now that it's not because it's so easy to get, those people still want to feel cool because they can get a lot of APM now. Right. So that's that's it's kind of like a pyramid scheme thing. They're just the people that got in late, you know, that we call them bag holders. It's unfortunate. It is. It is. It is unfortunate. Ah, you scared me. Your base is under siege. Bad news. Yes. Patching you through. Oh yeah, APM. Act actions per minute. There, there was a time when a lot less actions in the game were automated, but over time. StarCraft 2 has enabled players to really be able to automate a tremendous amount of the actions in the game. And because of that, because of that, the average APM that a player used to have on the high end was somewhere from 250 to 300. And usually, usually most pros were somewhere comfy in that 200, 250. Even in their prime, most of the best Korean pros were never, never above that, that sort of number. Um, but yeah, so basically rapid fire became a thing where people could automate actions a lot more efficiently. And this led to a pretty huge increase in the amount of APM that a player could have relatively easily. Um, you know, for example, just modifying in the windows registry, the repeat rate of your keys enables a lot of Zerg players to hit thousands of several thousands of APM, uh, just by building units because of the delay, right? You'd be using 40 larvae to make 80 lings, but because of the repeat delay change, you'd be able to input all of those actions within two frames. That causes the APM chart, because of the small distance between the actions going in, but the actions still being registered individually by the game, the game sees it as an almost impossibly large amount of APM, even though that's not actually what the player is doing. It's only activating at that rate because it's the rate of the keyboard repeating, not the rate of the player pressing the button. So because of that, the actual amount of actions that you have become heavily polluted by these insane spikes. And players will say, oh, it only reaches a certain amount after a certain amount or etc., whatever. But the, the reality is, the reality is most of the time the, the average gets heavily impacted by these huge spikes. And especially in late game scenarios where you would be making a lot of units or remaxing the particularly late game Zerg in general. Almost any time a Zerg production cycle happens, you'd be hitting several thousand APM just because of the repeat delay. And that's not even taking rapid fire into account. You can do a similar thing with Terran if you have no repeat delay on your ghosts when you're using Snipe. That's uh, another rapid fire mechanic that a lot of people use. You'll see APM spike to potentially thousands on players that have that. Most Terrans don't use the repeat delay to that same degree because you don't always want to queue up your barracks super fast. Sometimes sometimes you want to have a little bit of control. So, yeah. So it's kind of automation. Instead of clicking the creep tumor and then clicking C and then clicking where you want the tumor to go, the player simply 
grabs the creep tumor, holds down the C key, drags their mouse across the screen, and the creep tumors will all build wherever the mouse ends up catching the creep at the end of it. So these types of, uh, these gains in efficiency are not really player skill related as much as they are um, kind of just PC hardware setup related. If, if, if StarCraft II had a, you know, an engine level refusal of commands at a certain rate, like if StarCraft II internally capped the amount of individual actions that it could receive at something like 1000, a lot of this stuff would still be possible, just not to the same insane degree where it can lag people's games out. Uh, the ability to spam an infinite amount of commands uh, as often and as heavily as you want is actually how most of the current lag hacks on StarCraft work. Players set their repeat delays to be so fast and so crazy that it literally just completely overwhelms the other person's computer until they drop out because they don't have as good of a PC. And that's, that's literally it. Which is pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy if you ask me. So, stuff like that is fascinating. GG, thank you. Yeah, stuff like that is fascinating, and it happens, right? It happens. So it's it's crazy. That's the things that people will do because they want to win in an online video game for ego, I guess. I don't know. It's not. It's hard to. It's hard to use the word pride when you when you cheat for something, right? So people are strange. People are strange. Well, not really cheat for something, but I mean in the sense that you would brag about your APM when you have your repeat rate tuned so that building anything spikes it to five thousand. Like you like. At that point, trying to brag about your your APM is it's yeah. It's like it's like bragging about how much money you have when you're born into a wealthy family. It's like, yeah, and what exactly did you do? It's like, yes, con congratulations on on your circumstance, I suppose. If you had told me that you started your own business and built it up and you became successful and you went through the hardships of entrepreneurship, then 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 you made it and it was big and you sold your company for a billion dollars, I'd be like, bro, that's crazy. That's awesome. That's awesome. But if you had an account open for you before you were even born for that, you know, I'm not I'm not gonna pretend like that makes you cool, right? For the longest time you didn't realize you could just hold E to mass morph banelings. Exactly. And the thing is, Windows has a pretty standard repeat rate difference. Like there's there's a there's a pretty normalized repeat rate that gets used when you hold a button down. So once people started making registry level changes to their machines and to their setups to get it to go even faster, like dude, things got crazy. Things got a little bit out of hand. So a APM, APM is, is fairly meaningless just because of command automation. If I wanted to, if I wanted to, because I play on Linux, I can make my repeat rate even faster than Windows, like quite easily. And I could probably lag this guy out of the game, but like at what point, at what point does it become not worth it just for a win, right? Like there's no honor in that. That's messed up. That's like exploitative. I would say it's cheating. I would say that that's like a kind of illegal thing to do. Maybe there isn't a law against it. I don't know. It's got to it's got to count as some kind of manipulation of online software. But either way, like that's the whole point is it's like yeah, to some degree using it there can be benefits for comfort. Like I use it. I use it so I don't have to click as much and it makes my wrist feel better. But I'm not uh I don't think I'm doing anything exploitative with it. I do find that when I'm not just holding a key down and I'm pressing a lot of different actions and doing a lot of different things, I find that my APM still stays pretty high. So I think getting, getting the repeat commands in, the few that I do are still really nice. But I can't. I can't pretend it means anything. I mean, that's that's silly to me. Look at this. He's already got four geysers, huh? Oh, he floated. He floated to the gold. What the hell? Oh my god. He floated to the gold. Yeah, I'm. 
Yo, shots, guys, guys, who's who's pouring? Who's pouring? I need something after what? Is a bong cloud build? Oh, he's random. That's the thing. He was random. I didn't know what race he was at the start of the game. I had no idea. Nate, why did you take all the geysers this fast? Well, I was going to double battlecruiser rush him. Yeah, but you need your factory first. Yeah, I know. I shouldn't have delayed the factory. I shouldn't have delayed the factory as much as I did. I got to be... Be better. Yeah, just micromanage the gold. That's okay. That's fine. There you go. You're making up for it. You're making up for it. Right now, Nate, right here, right here, what you're doing right here, right now, this is, this is making up for it. Okay. Don't even sweat it, dog. Yeah, so it's like the difference between trying to morph 20 Banelings. If you hold down the E key on the standard repeat rate, you're going to get up to maybe like 100 or 200 APM. If you max out your repeat rate and hold that key down, you're, you could go you could go all the way up to like 8 or 9,000 APM depending on what your setting is. So... And yes, statistically speaking, having outlier stats that far out, they will end up impacting the average. That can lift the average pretty heavily. I have some pretty, I have some pretty comfy ra rapid fire and repeat rate settings myself. Again, I don't, I don't believe that there's anything exploitative that I do with them, which is why I feel comfortable using it the way that I do. But I think I average what, like three or four hundred, somewhere in that range. But I'm also pretty fast too. I do, I do, I do move my units. I do move my units around at a reasonably acceptable pace. I hope. This is a little teaser of a new playlist that I've been working on. They might not all hit. It's uh, it's still a work in progress, but I did finally get some tracks. Yes, indeed. I'm going double battle cruiser rush against this brachecho. Full on YOLO swag, Omega Ladon, Basilisk mode. Yeah, Omega Ladon Basilisk. That's what it is. Here we go. It's that part in Batman. Heads down. This is it. Yeah, he's coming for me. It's okay. It's okay. Everything's going to be fine. Just trust in the heart of the cards, etc., etc. Registered trademark Bandai Namco TM. Oh, losing the bunker here will it will probably mean that the game ends in Nady Poo. Damn. This is a nightmare. Bad news. Your face is getting blasted. No, I I hate everything about this. I hate everything about this.
Research is ready. Okay. Yes, come on. FDB ready. What's going on? Yeah. Yes, come on. Sweet Christmas. Yo, Low Town, thank you for the sub. Thank you for the sub. I'm gonna try to bring it back. I'm gonna try to bring it back for y'all. We got a lot of battle cruisers in the oven. We're still, we're still moving. My legs are still moving. I haven't lost, I haven't lost my senses yet. <laughs> How much can we do with four battle cruisers? Four battle cruisers and unlimited heart. Oh, really? Your add -on is what you got, Boo Thang? What is it? Be ready. Be ready. Trust your instincts. Remember your training. I'm trying to give myself the dodgeball pep talk right now. Sorry, guys. Once these two guys come out, we're going to go push it. Push it to the limit, limit. Because we're in it to win it. We're in it to win it. Oh, yeah. We'll start the next two as well. I'm fully committed. It's like the album I went to for that Carly Rae Jepsen concert. Dedicated. Fantastic album, by the way. Here we go. Start up some Amory's behind it, and we'll take a third next. Ooh, ooh, ha, 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 ha. Toy. No, 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 noise. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Let's fight somewhere empty. Your base. <laughs> Did he proxy Reaper me? I felt like he had a lot of Reapers. How were we on the kill count? 25... 25, 3, 3, 15, okay. Oh, two 25 25ers, that's not bad. Wait, 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 wait. Did he cheese me? Did he, pro did he proxy me? Let's play Diddy Proxy! First contendant, contestant, B-Boy Smiles. No, I think he went two racks in his own base though. Oh my God, right, I forgot, he bong clouded. So he started the geyser and then floated it over. Yeah, well, Nate, that's why you're so confused.
Well, this guy was also playing random. He was playing random. So that's that's another very important thing to mention. You thought the last guy went Proxy Reaper, Nathan. Not this guy. The game before. You just played a Terran before this game. That's what you're thinking about. Sorry, my... <laughs> sorry, sorry, babe. Sorry, love. I was miles away. <laughs> when I play StarCraft and I kind of get in the zone, I sort of black out, you know? Bruce Banner goes in the back. He goes in the trunk for a little bit. Okay. <laughs> I just... Look at this. I just gotta screenshot this. Look at this build. And it's still it's still just like straight to tanks and vikings, by the way. Straight up tanks and vikings, just but he just floats his main base over and then he expands back to his original main base. Wow, it's like a better love story than Twilight. Truly. Absolutely captivating. Absolutely captivating. What a strange, what a strange and bizarre game. What an absolutely bizarre game of StarCraft I just played. I don't, I don't know what to say there. I don't know what to say there. That was the only game he played. <laughs> he just went from busy back to available. That's the only game he's played in 24 hours. Hey, B-Boy. That was a funny game though. That was a funny game. We are queued up for another one. I should probably, while we're searching for a game, what I'll do is let's get the, I'll set the YouTube chat up. People don't talk very often in there, but there are some people that watch. So just in case, just in case somebody wants to ask me an important question, like what my favorite barbecue sauce is or my favorite order at like kfc or mcdonald's or anything you know i gotta make sure i gotta make sure oh yeah see somebody did comment on the youtube chat yo some guy named nasser says hi what happened with your twitch stream yo dog i'm live on twitch right now that's what happened there you go boom 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 yeah i'm literally live on twitch right now bro it's all good I stream on both. The uh, the CIA, the CIA actually released a, a binding unilateral resolution for Americans. And the CIA actually came out and officially said that we were allowed to stream on Twitch and YouTube at the same time. Turns out it was in the Bible all along. There you go. Said you could stream on all platforms, so now I do. I know, that doesn't sound really believable at all, but somehow here we are. Huh? No, I don't know, Twitch changed their policy, like SCB what? Ready. What, like two months ago, three months ago? How long have I, how long have we been multi-streaming? How long have we been multi-streaming? Since probably... When did they When did they make it so you could multi-stream? I started around whenever that was. I think November? It's been a good few months. It's been a good few months. The average viewership on the YouTube, video, YouTube live streams has gone up from about mm, maybe 5 to 10 to... Somewhere in the realm of 50 to 75, and I think now each one is getting close to 200. Each one's getting close to 200. And considering that it's not edited content, it's just giant raw gameplay of me just talking and sometimes ranting or whining or whatever, you know? It's not like the streams are better than curated videos. I don't really, I don't really believe that anymore. I'm just not good enough at editing to make good curated videos. Just a little real talk from Nady Poo today, eh? Oh, okay, he used his uh, he used his recall. What's the go-to Taco Bell order? Um, my favorite, my favorite. If I was if I was going to Taco Bell, what I would be getting? First of all, I'm gonna clarify. This is what I'm ordering. I would I would also in this case be getting Katie whatever she wants. What Katie usually wants is a Crunchwrap Supreme or some kind of Doritos. She, she wants one crunchy taco. She likes a crunchy taco, and she also really likes... Um, 
Yeah, she likes the chicken taco guys, but she also likes the quesadillas with me as well. But we usually get she usually gets a she usually gets a beef taco. But I would get two chicken tacos. I get two chicken tacos and no mayonnaise with stuff or whatever, whatever it is that they put on it. And um, probably combo that with maybe a chicken quesadilla. But I like to get I like to get two chicken tacos and one beef taco usually. I don't get the quesadillas anymore. That's it. I just get three. I just get three tacos. Maybe that's a little too much. Maybe I'm a bad person because of that. But you know what? I think five million years from now, no one's gonna give a shit. So, fuck them. Being a little vulgar today. I'm kind of just feeling myself. Sorry. Twilight opener. Shield battery in the main mineral line. He went to Jared's. YouTube is so much easier to find VODs. Yeah, yeah. That's another reason why I like doing the YouTube streams. But I don't really get drinks. I don't I don't I don't know. I'm not big on the I'm not big on in America most of the soda is made with corn syrup, so I kinda try to avoid it. Um but yeah. So I'm like if they had a if they had a cane sugar Baja blast, I'd probably be all over that, but to the best of my knowledge, to the best of my knowledge, getting cane sugar Mountain Dew is a very difficult thing to do. So it's not it's not easy to get your hands on. It's contraband. I think I think only they only put that in like the the one percenter grocery stores. They got they got all the stock. They got all the stock of the the cane sugar Mountain Dew. I gotta I gotta like move up in my my class and move up move up a class or two. <laughs> I haven't unlocked it. What, what are they using? Like Grand Theft Auto, the RP. I don't have enough RP. I haven't unlocked that in the in the store yet. Well, one shield battery. I'm not really gonna be able to do anything. So I say, yeah, I say we just punch it. So you just fucking send it, bro. Let's go. Let's just go. Let's push him. Yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about, right? Because now, yeah, see, now I was able to get that extra one just because of that. Rhythm. Well, this is not rhythm as a dancer, but it does kind of sound somewhat. It sounds, it sounds like, it sounds like it could be trying really hard to want to be rhythm as a dancer, which, which is enough for me. That actually is enough for me, so. Look at that. He already had three shield batteries up. Damn, son. Your SCVs are under attack. Did he scout me? Did he have did he just did he have an observer in my base? I'm gonna have to look at the replay. Why did he have three shield batteries? That's kinda crazy. Feels like overkill. Feels a little overkill. Command center two point ready to go. Yeah, it turns out I turns out I also die hard. Well, what I like about YouTube, I, to get around the performance issues that I've been talking about the last few months, I just ended up, uh, the YouTube stream is 30 FPS now, so. The YouTube stream is uh, 4K, 30 FPS, so higher resolution, better details, a uh, little bit less smooth. And then the live stream is obviously lower delay, better, uh, better smoothness, and less, uh, less intensive data-wise, anyway. I feel like I hit a pretty good balance. I feel like I hit a pretty good balance with that, so it's been nice. Doing 4K 60, I could run it, but it was just straining enough that it was it was like also a limiting factor and other things that I wanted to add. So I've been retooling a lot of stuff recently. 
this this summer this summer is gonna be big this summer is gonna be big with uh with stormgate going into early access so i think it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty dope we're gonna get a lot of new a lot of new people stopping by right that's it's gonna be awesome so want to want to take advantage of that and do the do as much with it as i can GG. Yeah, that guy. Ay, ay, ay. I don't want to play him again. So, yeah, I do two chicken tacos, two chicken tacos, one beef taco. And then Katie, Katie would want, Katie would probably want uh, Crunchwrap Supreme with chicken. And we would all, none, we, the only thing, we don't want any of that Chipotle season sauce or whatever that they put on it. We kind of like them a little more dry. We, we prefer, we prefer the more traditional salsa or um, just more cheese, really. All right, he's queued up. We, we're good, we're good. Let's keep it moving. Hey, Plague Goo. New cantina menu is good. I don't know if I've seen that. I don't know if I've seen that. Let's see, let's see. Taco Bell cantina menu. Let me let me take a look at this. I can give you the official Nathaniel Lawrence seal of approval, okay? Cantina chicken menu. Chicken crispy. Yeah, but see, the thing is, I, my whole thing is that I like the soft flour tortillas. My whole entire thing is that I like soft flour tortillas. So you just, okay. Cantina chicken soft taco. Avocado verde salsa. Okay. And ranch sauce. It doesn't look bad though. I could probably get that without the ranch. I might try that without the ranch. That may be, that may be what the universe is trying to tell me. Yo, thanks for the follows, bruvs. And thank you, Low Tone. Thank you for the 20 months, sir. I appreciate that very much. Oh, it's B-Boy again. He just can't get enough of me, can he? It's one base him. It's one base BC rush. YOLO. YOLO. How you doing, Plague? I won a ranked game this morning. I got uh, I got Malzahar mid, of course, versus uh, Diana, which was horrible. I hate leaning against Diana players. Anybody good at Diana absolutely bullies me out of that lane. It's very, very difficult. I finished four, five, and eleven. I finished four, five, and eleven with like think like a hundred seventy CS. So it's tough. It's tough. I didn't. I you know. I didn't get to be the playmaker. I didn't get to be the playmaker. All I did was I just tried to peel. I just waited for. I waited for Diana to try and dive in. The enemy team had a Diana and a Master Yi. So it was Diana mid Yi jungle. So like you can imagine, the roams and the ganks were brutal. So I just tried not to die. I just tried not to die and have my teams back. But it is stressful. They're like, oh, ult E, and then E E Qs in the same frame, and then Diana goes in, and then I ult Diana, and then E gets the kill, even though he has two percent health. And I'm like, this 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 Ar this uh, Aurelia player was like Malzahar, bro. I was like, I got nothing to say, man. 
I'm sorry. It's tough. They both they both have some pretty strong burst. So trying to decide which one to ult in the middle of a fight, it's like it's just hard. They're both good targets. Like shutting down the Yi, pretty big. He was he started four two and zero. He was he literally started four twenty. Shutting him down was pretty big. But you know the Diana was. Eh. That's probably why we won the game because I didn't feed her a bunch of kills. That's probably it. If she was as fed as Yi was, then we probably would have lost. So. Even though I, even though she bullied me a little bit, I just didn't die to her, and she wasn't. She never got strong enough to take over the game. That's what I tell myself in my head to make me feel better about how hard the game was. Anyway, sorry if that's a little real. Yeah, I was gonna say I'm like not feeding Diana. That really is. That really is the only way to beat her. Yeah. She punishes she punishes overstepping in lane better than better than most. I get I get worried walking walking too far ahead in lane against her. Yasuo not as much. I bully Yasuo players now. Take them as my pets. Oh he's Zerg. Nice. He's a Zerg. It's a Zerg, Lester. Wow. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? Really? Are you for real? Is this like a be who you want to be? B-A-R-B-I-E kind of a situation? It could be. Let's go. Let's bring him. Drop the Thor drop Thor's hammer. That's what's happening. This is real. Deal with it. Look at all the spore crawlers he's making, by the way. Guy that hasn't scouted anything. Yeah. Yeah, big boy. I love that he's rushing so many spore crawlers. No, I, I mean, this guy just has to be watching, right? Obviously. This is like one of those guys that snipes, but he's like literally just not good enough at the game to beat me, I guess. Hilarious. Keep trying, brother. You get there. You get there one day. I believe in you. Check this out. It's going all the way, man. Because he has to rush the Spire anyway, because he knows I'm going BC somehow, so. He knows I'm going Battle Cruisers somehow through some voodoo. So we just keep hitting him. Easy.
what. Let's go. In the box. I mean, I don't, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I guess he's, I guess this is just some guy who thinks we're really attractive and he wants to spend a lot of time with us. I will wait for him to queue up again. Don't worry, guys. When people are sniping me, I don't play ranked, so. I am fine. This guy, did he wait? How long did he wait for us? Yeah, he just, we, we beat him. We beat him and then he played one game. We beat him and then he played one game and sniped us again. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wait for him to queue. You guys know I'm making up the sniping thing. He'll search for a game. He'll be in a game really soon. It's not. We're not going to have to wait. So, yeah, I'm just going to wait on that. Playing versus random players that basically play like they're map hacking, you know, it's not, not very exciting. So, let's go next. All right, he's in a game. We should be safe. You like my shirt? Thank you. My shirt likes you. Oh, he left. He quit his game. He just quit his game. The guy, he got into a game and he insta-left. He quit his game, insta-left, and then tried to get me again. He just queued again. That's incredible. He wants my body. Ay ay ay. Been a hell of a week last week. Well, I hope you're doing well, sir. Good to see you, Tsao Monk, by the way. This definition is so high. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, we've got the stream. I've got the stream encoder stuff tuned very nicely now. I pull a bit of the bitrate out of the user interface stuff, like the minimap and the display cards on the bottom, and I focus it a little more on the actual game itself, so it should look super clean and pristine now. That's what it's all about, baby. I was seeing that Indiana Jones movie apparently lost $130 million. Incredible. Incredible. All right, we got a game. The quest for glory begins. It's a Zerg player. All right. This is the map where you kind of just get that free, easy expo, so... Huh? What's going on? 
So he's just taking that first. That makes sense. Very standard play. Very standard type of play. Gamer boy, yeah, yeah. I game. I've been known to game. I have the capacity to game. I game. I get games. Whoa! Careful there. Careful there. Whoa! I'm gonna lose my balance. I'm gonna lose my balance. You trying to knock me over? It's working. The gold patch, is it the natural? Is it ever worth it to just lift your mane? I don't know, bro. Do I look like, do I look like I know all the math in StarCraft? I do. I don't know. Oh, there's that third. I mean, it's not entirely my plan, no. But it could be, in a manner of speaking. Oh, he wants to know if I'm going to take this gas early, right? Probably. Lulu, whoa, dizzy. I am not mining enough gas for this operation, but that's okay. We can do this. Got a target in mind. Like the idea of worth it, these concepts are not questions that you can just ask other people. It's part of the it's like a part of the important part of understanding the game. Like you have to conceptualize, you have to be able to conceptualize in your mind what having that that extra mineral patch entails, you know? A lot of people believe that a gold base mines more than a regular base, but that's not actually true, and it never has been. Most gold bases are deliberately set up specifically so that you mine as much as a regular base with a fewer amount of workers. So hypothetically, having less mineral patches means that you're instantly fully saturated on one base with 12 workers. That's what this entails so is it worth it well it just depends just depends you'd probably have to mathematically calculate out the timing of whatever it is that you're trying to do would it just generally always be the best thing to do i mean again it really depends hypothetically speaking if you are going to be going for a double gas first in a terran versus terran yeah, you're delaying your stuff a lot, but I'll, I'll humor you. You have the possibility to take those geysers without it lowering your mineral saturation because you max out faster. So that those are the those are the kinds of trade-offs that I envision when when you mention this. Oh, look at that! Yeah, yeah, we got the we got another super super hardcore blind counter. Shocker! 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 Another guy rushing a spire off no scout. Are you kidding me? Could happen to you too, guys. Happen to you too. Who called in the fleet? SCV ready. They got the mob bosses straight up paying people off to keep them posted about all my accounts. Did you guys know that? There's a whole there's a whole Discord server dedicated just to keeping track of all my ladder accounts. It's incredible. You can't make it you can't make this stuff up. These people love me. I don't know how else they do it. I really don't. Yeah, she just rushes corruptors. No scouting. 
No scouting at all, the whole game, and he just rushes directly to Corruptors. It's remarkable. It really is. Some people just have no shame. They have no shame at all. It doesn't really leave me with a lot to say either, so. I could apologize, but really it's, it's this guy that owes you the apology. I'll do what I can, but people who magically know everything we're doing without using the mechanics inside of the game are unfortunately always going to be much more difficult to beat than people who have to use the mechanics inside the game. Yes, Give us your best shot. Go ahead. If anything, we can take some comfort knowing this guy has probably got a grossly overinflated MMR if this is how he wins all of his matches. Kind of like how, you know, I cleared the base out, but he didn't actually attempt to make a move on it until I went over there, you know? Ay, ay, ay. No honor on the internet, huh? Out a mineral field. Good thing you've got more of those, right? What's our target? <laughs> he's like, he like watches. He's like, oh, the depots are down. He's not paying attention. Well, we'll probably lose to this jabroni and then we'll just dodge we'll just dodge him after this game that's all probably probably not much we can do since he's already way ahead and has full vision of everything so no it's not really a game anymore <laughs> yeah i guess he i don't know I, I think my stream delay is longer than that. Do you guys, is he hacking? Do you guys think he's, I, I don't know how he, I don't know how he reacts that fast. I think the stream delay is still like 10, 15 seconds. He just clicks, just clicks on my units as soon as I send them out. Go. This better be good. Four is here. Big job, huh? Light it up. We read you. Yeah, so what his plan is, because he because he's cheating, I guess he's just gonna wait until I leave my base. My, my guess is his whole strategy revolves around base trading me. The moment I leave my base, he's just going to try and base trade, and that's it. He has no intent on fighting me head to head. He's just going to follow my units through fog of war, chase everything down, and his goal right now is to just make sure there's no possible way that he lets the game slip away. That's my, that's my impression of uh, the state of this match right now. Not very glamorous. 
not very glamorous, but we do we do have to take we do have to be realistic about what's happening. Since we can't get away with anything, there's not much point in trying. Just throw a few units away. Yeah, but he's getting ready. He's getting ready for the base trade of a lifetime. Watch, watch me move these Thors out of this base. And he's coming now. This is it. Well, he did fly straight into me, so that was my hope, was to just cut off the, cut off the path anyway. Oh, you guys got ultras. Well, that's great. It's actually really easy for me to deal with. Wow. It's actually really easy for me to deal with. Yeah, I don't know why he went ultras. Yeah, usually even when these guys know everything, sometimes they still just make bad decisions. I guess he just doesn't know how to play, play this game state out. Lucky me. Yeah, he's just, he's just very clearly never been in this situation before. Yeah, he doesn't have anything. This guy's broke. next bro maybe everybody's just that paranoid I don't know that's that's spire man that's spire timing I don't like it I don't like it but yeah when, once you once you get to the point where they have to actually play against the full army composition then they struggle a lot more even though he rushed corruptors with no scout, he he didn't really know how to play the game beyond blind countering the BCs. So, Mower's upgrades. He had plus one carapace, plus two attack, adrenal, uh, plus three melee, no ranged upgrades, ultralisk speed, chitinous, and I just I just had all the you know all the mech upgrades. But you don't always have to go, you don't always have to go mass BC. Like, if you want to win, if you want to actually win, you go BCs and transition into mass Thor. Now that we're getting maps, now, we're, now that we're getting maps where mass Thor has, like, a reasonable amount of space and Broodlords are still, like, unviable, they're, they're still going to be pretty strong. I think that Thor-based armies were fine on the bigger map pool, but the problem was Roaches could surround them more easily. But now that they're introducing choke points back into the game again, I think that it allows Thor's to at least somewhat slightly funnel, you know, somewhat slightly funnel anyway. So you try to like funnel the, funnel the units in to the point where you don't, you just don't want the Thor's to be themselves individually overwhelmed. That's, that's just what you don't want to happen. Let's see. That was the only game he played today and he logged off after I beat him. Smart lad. Legendary Jigsaw strikes again. Hey, Kuzik. Well, well met. We got a game. Let's keep us. Let's keep this vibe train rolling. Big job, huh? Made 
Oh, it's a barcode Zerg player. We got another TVZ. It's either going to be a, what, a Bane bust, or it's going to be a pretty good game. Looks kosher. Oh yeah, I didn't get my hair cut yesterday cuz there was a uh, pretty bad pretty bad traffic collision on the on the highway. Traffic was uh, pretty pretty crazy in Washington yesterday. There was some there was some big slowdowns, so we ended up moving it to Thursday. Thursday night, okay guys. Quite a bit later. Quite a bit later on Thursday, so it won't it won't end up impacting the stream schedule unless Katie and I decide to go uh, hit up a restaurant or something over there, in which case it will. But you'll just you'll just have to be at the mercy of my impulsive decision making to find out. Yeah, yeah, I'm having too much fun today. I'm having too much fun. Feeling good. It was a nice, it was a very nice, very nice e Easter weekend. I find myself with little, little to to fret over. I mean, this is like that moment where maybe he was baiting me to try and get in my base, right? It's always a little spoopy. Also, I see Mr. Jemai in uh, the YouTube chat. Sub, 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 sub. God bless you, sir. Good to see you. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Life's good. I got to turn the AC on probably, though. You know, I haven't... I feel like it's a little bit warm. I've, I've, I've done a pretty good job with my whole calming down thing. I don't feel quite as hot as I used to, but it's 77 in here, so I feel like I feel like that's a pretty reasonable for me to be like, maybe I don't want it to get much warmer than this. Am I, am I, uh, am I crossing a line here? Yeah, you know, Nate, Nate, you don't have enough gas to build your BCs anyway, right? Just, just hit the button.
There you go. Normally, you'd have to pay quite a bit of money on another website for stuff like that, okay? So, just say thank you. Did I plan that? No, 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 I'm just an opportunist. It's on though now. I said I set it to 71. I set it to 71. That should be should should be pretty pretty comfortable battle cruiser cockpit temperature. The Yamato, the Yamato kind of warms things up outside, you know, guys. I what can I say? The cabin's climate controlled on this cruiser. Would you would you want to be flying through outer space with a giant plasma gun and not have AC? Are you kidding me right now, bro? Are you are you are you kidding me? You ready for war? This guy's like, yeah, Enterprise didn't have AC. Really? You think so? You think Enterprise didn't have AC? Was there ever an episode? There you go. That's the real nerd test. You you want to win me over Star Trek nerds? Tell me if there was ever an episode about the air conditioner going out on the ship. All right, this is your one chance to sell me on Star Trek. Good luck. Godspeed. How much fun do they poke at themselves? Because if the answer is none, then I don't care. Look at me go! Yo, this, this song. Yeah, we got a we got a nice playlist cooking here. We are cooking. Your base is getting blasted. Bad news. Research complete. Oh my god, there's so many overlords back here. Bro, why would you send me this way? <laughs> All right then, there you go. Oh, did you think you were going to kill that battle cruiser? don't have enough for a scan really that's all I need no I'm gonna push it to the limit limit cuz I'm in it to win it I'm in it to win it oh yeah Yeah, he wants to make mutas. He wants to make corruptors. Does he even have the supply? Hey, these extractors are going to be drones. He's going to have to pay those down as drones later. He's also keeping way too much of his creep alive over here in his main base to sustain some of his uh, infrastructure. And I don't really like that. I don't like him being able to maintain his, his stuff over here. I want to scan this high ground, get rid of these larvae, get rid of this extractor. Hey Nate, what if you took a third base though? Like, hypothetically speaking, what if you took a third? Should I though? Yeah, but I, like, like, just humor me. What if we just imagined you were in like a multiverse situation where you take a third base? Okay. Give me the banes. You've mined out some of your minerals. Wee! 
complete. Command center upgrade complete. Your add-on is complete. You've depleted that mineral field. Uh-oh. Whoa, that was a new one. There it is, baby. Whew. Upgrade ready. Noise. What's going on? Hell yeah. Well. That was awesome. Huge dub. Colossal. Colossal W against the barcode. I just snapped his winning streak. Hell yeah. Feels amazing, man. He's been playing ZVZ all day. I was the first guy he played today that wasn't a Zerg. Fantastic. Fantastic. Let's go next, baby. Let's go next. You want to hear about that Enterprise toilet disasters? No, well, not like that. I'm sure there's like, a, oh, our life support's down. But I just want to be like, no, the AC's out today. That's all. Yeah, Scotty's fixing it. It'll be fixed next episode. But just today, there's no air conditioner. That's it. Just that specifically. It's just kind of hot today, you know? I need those. I need those kind of like really grounded in real life stories. Is it a major disaster? Is like people's lives a threat? No, <laughs> no, it's just, it's just hot. It's just kind of hot on board. That's all. It's just kind of hot on the enterprise today. No one's in danger. It's just, it just kind of sucks. You know, it's ace. It was AC maintenance day on the ship. Oh, is this the same guy? It's another, it's a barcode Zerg. Man, this makes me want to play Guitar Hero. Holy shit. What a riff. Let's see. Let's see what we've got here. Let's see what happens. Looks like a hatch first. Yep, hatch first. Let me just cordon that off. Sorry, it's safety hazard, sir. I'm gonna need you to drive around. Yeah, we got a detour up around I-9. Yep. Halo announcer. <laughs> Man, I haven't played Halo in forever. Did they end up fixing all the crap with Master Chief Collection? Can I log on? Can I log on to Matt? Like, can I just boot that up and play Halo 3 and just like, can I just, can I just play like zombies or some shit or, or Warhogs or whatever? Do those old custom games from when we were like, I don't know. Do they still exist? Can we still do that? Can I go play the zombie uh, obstacle course map in Halo 3? Is that, is that still real? That would be nice. I would like that. I would like that a lot. Will bring me great, great peace. Great peace. Add 
Let's go. Let's go. Big job, huh? Let's get it. Bring me the stones. I got him. Ready to blunder. FTV ready. Yes, indeed. Your add on is complete. There it is, huh? Well, you knew about the extra gas pretty early, so. That means that means there's a it's a little bit a little bit less unreasonable if he has a spire ready. I would I would say that this man scouted it just because he was on this pillar and saw when I took that geyser. So I should not be surprised if he's played for fast tech. Not this game. Not this game. That's the kind of stuff I'm talking about though. Some some people don't even check the gas. They don't even they don't even send anything to look at the gas and they just they just go straight for it. And then I'm like, I don't know I don't know Kev. Well, I mean, you, in, in a way, you know, but also, no, you know. Hmm. He's spreading that creep. He is spreading it. I don't know, Kev. Hey, man, I used to get paid a lot of money to say that. Oh, well, there it is. It's a Muta Rush. How crazy is that? Well, he couldn't quite time it. Couldn't quite time it. Oh, he already has corruptors too. Okay, so he, he kind of knew then. He knew. He knew for a while. He was already spire rushing me then for this to happen. So he did it before he scouted. But he probably still saw the gas being taken. So I don't think there's anything. I don't think there's anything super sus. Yo, thank you, bro. It can't hap can't happen without you guys. I'm only here. I'm only here as long as you guys um, <laughs> allow me to be. I appreciate that. I'm eternally grateful, and I don't I don't take it for granted for a second. Every day I get to get up and do this is a miracle. I appreciate y'all. Thank you, Spada, please. No, there's going to be a huge amount of aggression still to come in this game. I have no doubt. I have no doubt in my mind. 
These these styles are most. It's like the antithesis to how I play. Basically, this guy kind of knows. He's like, oh, he just wants to get as many BCs as he can, no matter what, and then harass forever. But obviously, if he does this specific play style, then he's going to be willing to give up units by letting them just die on the outside of his base, kind of like this. Because all he really wants is to just make sure that I'm not in a position to move out and harass him with the air units. I misclicked, Brit. Might be able to get out here. Nice. some of your minerals you mind out a mineral field good optics online let's go what's that comes well yes oh That'll be a reactor one, I guess. Probably the play. Big job, huh? What's the yes. Yes. And then we try to go into Thor's when we can. But we should be expecting him to be making some kind of airplay, airplay here still because of the way that he opened. Like, I don't expect him to just completely abandon everything that he's been doing. Oh, this one just kind of melts down, huh? It might be too much. It might be too much. MCC's amazing? Hell yeah. I mean, look at the situation. I think we know what we need to do, boys. I think we know what we need. Oh, he's already got ultras and shit. Ay, ay, ay. Well, let me just take his infestors. I think that's worth a base. I think the infestors are worth a base, right? Traded, traded all of his infestors for a single base. That's not bad. Yeah, well, this was what he wanted to do, right? Force us into a turtle situation. So that's that's where we are. I'm just going to try and max out because I don't think there's anything else we can do here. 
It's just another one of those awkward games because he blind countered us, so there's just not there's just not really a lot to say. It's hard to use BCs when your opponent rushes the spire before you start your fusion core. It's just, just tough. Just not a lot, not a lot, not a lot of options there. So we're just gonna try to max out anyway. We'll we'll play as if we'll play as if this is still a straight up normal game, and we'll just see what we can do. But keeping keeping expectations low, keeping expectations low with this. Do you think he goes for it now that I canceled it, or do you think he know? Oh, he know. Yeah, I guess he knew I canceled it somehow. He doesn't have anything there, but he knew he knew I was building a base, and then he knew that I wasn't. The SCV, he's safe. He's allowed to live as long as he doesn't build a base, right? As long as he doesn't build a base, it's all good. Yeah, let's go, baby. Let's go. This is it. Here we go. Yeah, just push them before they're done. That's it. Damn, nice mind control. <laughs> hey man, I'm glad I'm glad he's happy. I'm glad I'm glad the barcode is happy. Let's go next. <laughs> All right. I queued up. We'll get one. we'll get another game soon. Maybe we'll get round three against him. He's got a big mouth, huh? When he wins, he's got a lot to say. When he wins, he's got a lot to say. He was real quiet when he lost that game, though, huh? He forgot to say those two those two letters that you put next to each other. When he wins, though, oh, he's real loud. Yo, Vampire Creations, how are you doing, man? Hanging in there? Well, I hope things get better, bro. Tycho is also amazing. I don't know what that is. Let's get it. We get the barcode Zerg. No, we did not. Life is good.
Life is good. For some reason, I feel like this guy's a cannon rusher, so I'm just gonna wall off a little extra fast. That's it. That's all. I don't know why. Mild, mildly sus. Mildly sus. Is this Jimbo? Is this Jimbo's uh, Smurf account? He's doing the, this. Is the same thing the Jimbo guy does. Now that I think about it. Yeah, I think this might be the Hezzy Jimbo guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he is. I think it's the same guy. I think this is his alt. That means he's just gonna make void rays and build a bunch of cannons and shit in his main and natural, most likely. Plays, uh, he plays kind of his own brand of turtle mech. Oh, there he is. Hey, cutie. I'm looking everywhere for you. Oh, this is like perfect. Yeah, he had to use his Phoenix lift just to get out of there. That's amazing. Yeah, very little to worry about with what he's doing, so... Bum, 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 bum,
Feeling pretty good here, yeah. Not too much to worry about. Oof. Big loss right there, bro. Well, no observers, right? He's just been pretty chill, pretty defensive. I'd love to start the two BCs, but I need to invest the money immediately into acquiring the third base and just getting that situated because I don't have enough geysers uh, with this gold. It doesn't it doesn't have more than just one geyser, so it's not really a reliable. It's not the best place to park everything. We'll just leave it there. Want to try and use some other stuff if we can. Can you get down here? And he didn't come over. He he kept his phoenix away until I expanded. So he didn't really check. He doesn't have any observers. There's no detection. There's no vision. What do you guys think? He, is he just rushing Tempest? Do you guys think he knows? Do you think he? Do you guys think he just knows magically? We'll find out soon enough. All right, well, he came to catch these units oh, with, no, with no vision, so that's, that's not a good start. It's not a good start for our trustworthiness, sir. All right? If you're failing the trust exercise. You're failing the trust exercise. This is kind of what we were talking about, though, right? This is where it gets really tricky. Just need to get these geysers up. Reinforce that with mines. We just got to bolster that count while we can. I don't want to open these mineral patches up, so... If I'm going to, I don't want to do it yet anyway. There's no obs on the map. He's not clearing out any mines. Just got to assume he's kind of going for some, some funky here. Doesn't look like he's shifted into tier 3 yet though either. So It's one of those rare moments where I should probably just take the take the upside here and get building armor. If I can keep this PF alive, that'll be huge. That'll be the toughest thing to do. Command center 2.0, ready to go. Research complete. We're doing it. Who called in the fleet? What's going on? Get that plus three, baby. Upgrade ready. Moist. I thought he was going to attack me and then I could teleport into his base and cause chaos, but 
He's being very patient, so let's just move out, take more bases. We'll expand ourselves. He hasn't, he doesn't leave units anywhere. He just clicks to where we have stuff. So we have Widow Mines and he's not clearing them out. So if he just clicks on our bases willy nilly, then he's gonna suicide his units kind of sillily. We'll call this the streamer, the streamer base right here. What is it? Yes, Commander. Well, he could be making tempests already, and he wasn't the last time I scanned. So that means he either already has a bajillion of them, or he is uh, still somewhat expecting a real game. Yeah, it looks like it. I think we're set. I actually think we're set here. We just got to make the BCs. Just gotta make him and bake him. He might have already. He might have already given given a little too much time away. Your command center's got some new toys. Oh, what the hell? He's got a prism here. Oh, that's it. That's it. He's going for it. All right, sweep the leg. Get the cyber core. Sweep the leg. Get the cyber core. He couldn't warp them all in. He couldn't warp them all in. Beautiful. Beautiful. I mean, you can't really execute it better than that. I guess he just played a really paranoid Phoenix rush. That's fair too. What's going on? Yeah. Oh, we hit our we we hit information from him perfectly. <laughs> I'm like sitting here filling my own head with poisonous ideas, like, oh yeah, he's just gonna go Stargates anyway, and I'm like, well, he didn't see anything to indicate that, so. He's not, he's not the last three Zerg players that we went against today. I'd love to see it. GG. Colossal Dub. No, for some reason, when I saw that username, you know, anybody who's trying to play off somebody else's identity usually Usually they're a little more aggressive. So if I look at the build order though, they did go, they went gateway, assimilator, zealot. So they did, they did open with a zealot, which made me think they were gonna try to rally across the map. So they might've, they might've been in, in planning on like putting a pylon on my ramp or something, but because I rushed to block it immediately, I think I was okay. So then they went Nexus and then Cybercore and then Stargate and then third base. So pretty conservative build. Pretty conservative, straightforward build order out of the Protoss, actually. Nothing really, nothing really to write home about. Nothing super bad, nothing super great either. I, I was, I'm just paranoid because I've had too many weird games already today, but we hid the information. They didn't get any observers in our base and they weren't sure if we were playing a regular mech or if we were going for air. So made things very difficult for them to deal with. Uh, I'm just going to grab myself another water and freshen up real quick, guys. I'm going to be right back. This is our first break of the show. We've been live for two hours. We've got about four more hours of games coming up, okay? About four more hours of matches coming up. I'm just going to real quick so I can look pretty for you. I know. That's a big deal. I'll be right back.
All right, I'm back. I told you. I told you I was going to be right back. I'm not I'm not here to pull your leg unless you're into that, in which case get in line. Yeah, no, it's been a pretty good day. It's pretty pretty good chill day. I'm glad that April 1st is over with. You know? That's a horrible horrible holiday that doesn't really mean anything anymore. Everything on the internet is fake all the time now already no matter what, so What's the point in having a day where you pretend things are fake? So I'm just glad that's over with. I had a really nice Easter. Had a really nice Easter. Spent it with the fam. Somehow I ended up winning all the best prizes in the Easter egg hunt that Katie's aunt set up. So I ended up... <laughs> or no, I ended up, I ended up getting all the best prizes and stuff. It was kind of nuts. They said something like, well, the youngest ones should get all the good stuff. So I didn't feel too bad about it. That was so rigged. Yeah, I, pff, I don't know how. I don't know how. I just magnetized myself to the best to the best prizes. Katie got Katie got a gift card for a restaurant, though. So, you know, got a little date. We got a little date sponsored as well. This is nice. It was really bright and sunny out and warm and I went running with the dog. I got tackled by my dog. I completely beefed it. He got under my legs. Golden retrievers, man. Yeah, dirty bird date. <laughs> Excuse me. Dirty bird date. Here we come. I did I did grab a fresh glass of water. Hang on. That's what happens when you inhale a pouch of fruit snacks in half a second. Pretty good games today. Solid matchups so far. Solid. Cacti is pretty good. I used to play against him a lot. He's he's like 5100, 5200, so he's still he's still pretty good. I don't know how how far we'll end up getting. I got to like I gotta look at my old tryhard builds a little bit to remember exactly what I used to do. Watch some old VODs. Well, no, no. <laughs> Yo, Morehook, what's up, what's up? Welcome to the stream stream, fam. Apparently, the Apex Legends hacker, like, loaded a server backup onto the game today. I was hearing that. Apparently, like, some people, some guy was like, yeah, I was level 300. I logged in today, and I'm level 189. A bunch of a bunch of people had, like, all their progress and purchases and everything reset. Huge dumpster fire. Huge dumpster fire over there. The guy who hacked Apex has just absolutely made EA's bitch. It's, it's, it's pretty hard to watch. At first, I thought it was mildly funny, but now, now this guy just seems like he's gonna really start doing some serious damage. I mean, he is doing some pretty serious damage, right? There's people who spent a lot of money on loot boxes and battle passes, and then the, and then they lose all that stuff on their account. It's kind of nuts. Hopefully, they've got a more more recent redundancy than at the start of the season. Yo, Gary. I'm doing pretty well. I'm doing pretty well. I'm feeling good. You know, nothing nothing super crazy going on today. Nothing super crazy here. I'm just vibing. Yesterday was Monday. Monday is, like, always that day where we remember how to play StarCraft after we take the weekend off. So I feel like we did a good job of that. We got, we got ready. We got situated. Today, today's been uh, a pretty tremendous amount of dominance, if I might might be honest.
Guys, it's like sitting outside my base the whole time, but the moment I lower the depot, he's like, I'm going up the ramp, no vision. He's adorable. Absolutely adorable. It's all game intuition, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. I got nothing to worry about myself personally. I see a bunch of incredibly attractive and handsome, good looking people hanging out with me today, so I have got I have got no worries. Bring it. Every time I come hang out, you always have cool music playing. I'm a cool guy. Can't help it. It's true. It's true. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you for the compliments, sir. This is actually a brand new playlist. I've never played it on stream before. This is my new one. I'm trialing it today. It's called a soft launch because you don't really, you don't really say anything, you know. You don't really say, you don't really say any anything specifically. You don't really release it. It's not really released, but gauging, gauging feedback from today is always, always nice. It's useful. It's a useful thing to be able to do, you know. It's useful. So what exactly is going on here? He's just like... He's just busting us? Just, he's just all, it's just an all-in, I think. I think it's just an all-in, Nate. Yeah, that's all. At least he let me get the Yamato off, thank God. Oh, it's super annoying, right? Super annoying. But what can you do? Crazy, right? He's crazy. You've depleted that mineral field. Sure thing. We hear you. What is it? Ah, oh, I don't think he's done. I don't think he's done at all. No, no, clearly. Clearly, he's in a rush based on the the way he's played this out to start. I have no doubts there. No doubts.
Yeah, I don't get it. Oh, he just had the one tank. That's why. That's why. Thanks for the handsome compliment. You felt like you were having a bit of a bad hair day. That's okay. Bro, the water going up and down is just a part of how the ocean works, man. The ocean isn't doing better or worse when the water is higher or lower. You know what I mean? Don't even sweat it, dog. Oh, he's got so much stuff. He's got so much. Really, what what do you do here, right? GG. Yeah, he's way higher ranked than us, though. Like, I don't think there's any way we could have beaten him. He's playing unranked, too, so he might have sniped us. Let me just check his match history. That's the only game he's played today, so I guess he used unranked to snipe us. Well played, well played. I'm gonna dodge him and then we'll go next. Do I like the new Cyclone better? I think the Cyclone is uh, not really a viable unit anymore. I think the only role it serves in the game is to make one or two at the beginning against Cheese, and that's it. I don't think I don't think there's really any other purpose that the unit serves in StarCraft, though. It's it's very bad now. It's like a Reaper, a few for the early game, and that's it. Yeah, yeah. Cy the, Cy the new Cyclone is really bad. They, they, they pretty much nerfed it out of the game. It's time to kick things off. What's going on? Big job, huh? I mean, they, yeah, they did nerf it out of the game. It's, it's awful. If they had kept the upgrade scaling, it would have been really fun to mess around with. But because they didn't, it, it's just, it's just really bad now. Like any other unit, situationally, there'll be there'll be roles for it. Like, if you wanted to know a situation where the Cyclone would still be useful, if you're playing mech and you have five factories and you move out your big army and you want to have reinforcements behind it and you don't want to make Hellions, you want something with a little more punch or you think you might need a little anti-air mop-up, then the Cyclone is great. It's much better than a Hellion as far as being fodder in your army is concerned. Especially since it got the health buff to be close to the same amount of HP as a Hellbat. So, like, this, that's where the Cyclone is. That's where the Cyclone shines. It's, it's a slightly better meat shield than a Hellbat because it can shoot up. Terran's the only faction that has units like that. So, Terran's the only faction that has buildings that can fly. 
You gonna start? You gonna start crying wolf for the other team, or do we do we only care about our own problems, huh? Let's uh, let's, let's tone it down on huh? the whining a little bit. Protoss have a bunch of units that they can't use. The infested Terran got deleted out of the game. That's life, man. Nobody's nobody's going after you. It's not personal. Never say die. It's like a box of chocolates. Sometimes it's full of those awful ones that are stuffed with fruit. No, I don't want a cherry pit in the center of my dark chocolate. Jesus, whoever asked for that? Ugh. Cruising, man. It's it's cruise o'clock. Soft launch gets your vote so far. Thanks, Spadocles. Yeah, some of them are a little slow. One, a couple of them feel a little bit hard. You know, it's um, it's meant to be. It's it's meant to kind of have more of an up and a down rather than trying to be one specific kind of thing. You know. It's it, it should it should kind of pick up at some points and then slow down at others, but not for any too significantly long duration of time. Something 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 I don't know, something like that. Kind of where my mind's at.
I got his Viking, and then I dipped. I dipped. He's already got a million Vikings out. He just, he knew, he knew. It is Terran versus Terran though. Most most people just make nothing but Vikings. So it's, it's also not not really a surprise either. I was I was hoping that he would have just gone into medevacs and Marines, but I guess he's gonna be playing mech. Yeah, he's a mech player. Oh, I don't want it to be the same. Yeah, exactly. I don't want it to be the same. Uh, once I listen to a track like once or twice, I get really good at picking it out. So what I do after I I listen to these a few times is then I'll I'll skip through. I'll go one by one and just skip through every single song and I'll I'll kind of know them all by the first few beats and then I decide I'm like, "Oh, what did I like this one? Did I not like this one?" Go a little further if I feel like I'm unsure, etc. That's how I curate songs out. I'll probably add a few more at some point as well. It's a process. It's a journey. It's fun. I used to always be really shy about sharing my music taste, so the fact that I can kind of do that in a way that people don't hate makes me feel makes me feel like I'm kind of a badass. No cap. Just kind of makes me feel awesome. He almost got me there. He almost got me. Your SCVs are being liberated in the worst way. Your base is getting blasted. Huh? Oh, he's going for it. He's going for it. Go ahead. It's a trap. SCV ready. Who called in the fleet? Oh, come on. Okay, well, there's not much we can do, guys. He's going to play the boring. He's going to play the boring style where he just jumps out and catches all of our shit. And blind counters our BCs without scouting and all the other boring shit these people like to do. It is unfortunate. This guy's just going to play the most turtle turtle mech of all time. Tragic. Do I watch other streamers? Yeah, sometimes. Depending what's on. I watch, uh, I watch StarCraft streams. I watch, like, Wardy and Rotterdam. I, I used to watch Artosis. <laughs> his, streams, his stream's a little rough. <laughs> Oh, this is his plan, so he's, he's going for it. No, oh, let's go, bro. This is what it's all about. This is it. You're here. This is the show. Well, bad news. Oh, really? It's what it's all about, baby. It's what it's all about. Is it? Patching 
you through. <laughs> Perfect timing. Perfect spot. Yeah, yeah, well. I'll keep trying, guys. <laughs> we'll keep keep throwing as many daggers as I can. It's just such an awkward situation, right? He's got so much, so much to shut this down. And every time I've tried to make a move or a play, he's kind of just caught me really fast. So it's been super difficult to deal with. I like that though. He just kind of flew through a bunch of turrets. So not bad, not bad. He took my comments about vision a little personally. And he went up for it. Okay, well, that's fair. I'm not I can't hide anything from him. I can't hide anything from him. There's not a lot there's not a lot I can really do in this kind of situation, but it is pretty funny to watch him. He's gotta be like pissing his pants laughing though. I'm sure for him this is hilarious. Yeah, let's just go take that one. If we max out on enough BCs, anything is possible. We just need to make sure that he doesn't get like an upgrade lead on us and then make more battle cruisers than we have. So get the amount of damage that I've done has not been bad. So I feel like we're in a pretty good spot. He's likely gonna use anything moving across that sensor tower as his uh trigger to send stuff that way. Every time we move out, though, he does just kind of run up to us and catch us. So this is this is reckless. It is dangerous, but I'm bored, so I'm gonna gonna do it anyway. I'm gonna do it anyway. I know, crazy, crazy Nathan, crazy Nathan with his crazy hot takes. Oh, he brought the whole army there to that base. He didn't know about. Nice. Well, that was pretty sweet of him. That was pretty sweet of him. Okay, he got a few, but I stopped his upgrades. Stopped his upgrades. You've depleted that mineral field. Whew! He doesn't know about this base either, and he hasn't sent anything, so that's nice. There's comfort. There's comfort there.
Oh, I have too many SCVs. I don't want to make any more. Could probably get rid of. Do I still have the bunker? Yeah, we could probably trade that out. We just gotta max out. That's that's really the big thing. Yeah, he just keeps coming here right as it's about to finish. baby that's what i'm talking about we're moving to the grooving now what an absolutely crazy turn of events all oh, ladies and gentlemen who thought gandalf was gonna come back at the end of the last movie holy shit Sorry, of course, of course, obviously he was always going to come back. Obviously. I knew it before I saw it for the first time. No, why are all my BCs here? Don't go there. That's the last place you guys need to be. This is not final fight level situation. No. No, he hasn't earned that. He hasn't earned that. He's going to have to land his Vikings and use all of his turrets. Yeah, Cyclone is still okay in this situation. Let's dance. We hear you. Guys are depleted. You bled the planet dry. Ah, you scared me. Oh, really? Look how many battle cruisers we have. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. You're Vikings flying around the city looking for battle cruisers. Well, what is he gonna do now? What what is what is the turtle man? Come, Mr. Turtle Man, turtle me banana. What do you do now? What is your what is your piece de resistance? How does a man of your stature end something like this? Does it ever end? Look at them turrets go. Boom, 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 boom. Cyclone's taking fire. Damage is gonna move them higher. Got a target in mind. Oh, he's going for it, ladies and gentlemen. This is his moment. Here we go. Yeah, no, it's not fun. The whole thing you're doing with the Vikings right now? No. Bro, that's got to suck. I can't imagine. I can't imagine. No, what you're going through? What you're dealing with right here? No, this, this seems brutal. Seems brutal, dog. It's okay. It's okay. 
We're just chilling, bro. We're just chilling, just hanging out. Yes, come on. God, what is all really? Channel's clear, boss. Show me who's got a target in mind. Open into position. Only thing I really need is cyclone speed. That's like that's all I'm missing here. This man. You hear? Systems go. Cyclone ready for action. What is it? Yes, you mind out a mineral field. Yeah, Nate, just make more SCVs. That's the problem. You're not you're just not saturated. You have you have you have bases. You need to mine them though. What's going on? That would help. That would help a lot. Bow 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 bow. He's coming. He's coming for it. Your base is under siege. Give me your raven. Please, please, pretty, please, pretty, please, sugar on top. There it is. There it is. Eh, just clear them out. Just clear it out to our base. That's all you gotta do. In gear. Nothing else done. Your base is getting blasted. Mind out a mineral field. Good thing you've got more of those, right? Speak up! Stay your reef ready for service. Come back. Show me who you want to die. FCB ready. Crazy, crazy game. We might be cooked, boys. This might be it. I did my best to mess up his economy as much as I could, but he has, he has made it. He has made it very, very, very annoying, very difficult for us. He's like, there's no base to kill. He won't go after the workers. He'll let me. He'll let me mo long distance mine that for like the entire game. But as soon as I put a base there, all of a sudden he's gonna be on it. He doesn't have the clairvoyance, the same clairvoyance for the other positions, but for that one, for that one, he does. <laughs> oh, he's going for that base now. I love it. Yeah, see, he's got his own. He's got his own battle cruisers. It's kind of, it's kind of what the expectation in this situation has to be. What's going on? I'm 
Thankfully, I've got this very fresh base outside my main, but that's it. That's all I've really got now. I don't have I don't have a lot of moves left. I don't have a lot of moves left, boys. Your forces are under attack. I think we've got him in a good spot, though. We have a lot. We have a lot. We just need to be decisive and what it, with whatever we do next, decisive and successful. It's going to be extremely, extremely important. I love that he's going for it anyway. I love it. I love it. Yeah, you just kind of trickle them back like that. That's the easy way. It's the easy way to do it. Yeah, you don't know. You don't know how to do this, do you? No, I'm, I'm, I don't need your Vikings anymore. The problem is you can't stop me from killing your base. That's that's your problem now. That's the first scan of the game. Is this the first time he scanned all game? It's amazing. I didn't know he had it in him. He thinks he can still win. He just doesn't realize that my fourth base, I just never mind it. There's so much money there. There's so much money in my fourth base. He just doesn't, he just doesn't even get it. He just doesn't even get it. I'm not even close to mining that one out. The base that he just killed, the outside one, I mined that out first. That was the ninja, that was the ninja base. GG. Yeah, I don't think he realized. This base, look at that. I still had 1340. 1340 on this patch, 1200, 925, 1120. Dude, I had a lot. I had a lot of money. I had a lot of money left. I had a lot of money left on that. This base, this base was not mining out anytime soon. To total turrets destroyed count. He lost, he lost about 32,000 more resources than I did. About 32K more than I did. Wild. I'm not going to lie, guys. Getting into really long 30-minute uh, TVTs. I just got to pee real quick, and then we'll go next game, okay? I love you guys, okay? No, not a real long break. I'm just going to be right back. That game was long and stressful. Thank you for understanding. I'll check how many turrets we killed when I get back, if that's what you'd like. I love you guys.
Sorry if that took a long time. I washed my hands. Yeah, that game was nuts. That game was crazy. That guy was that guy was freaking crazy, man. 30 minute TVT. Oh. Yeah. Have I dabbled with Hell Divers yet? No, no, I have not. Couple people have offered to get it for me, but it's not it's just not something that really caught my interest. You know, loud loudly screaming democracy and like spread freedom and stuff. Kind of just makes me think about some of the crazy shit happening over here politically. So I just, I really, I really don't need any more of that kind of, don't really need any more of that kind of stuff. I think I'm good. Notice the OG Game Boy shirt. Thank you. Yeah, it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. I love this shirt. We got a Zerg player. Thanks for watching today, guys. I really appreciate it. I hope you're having a nice week so far. God bless you, and thanks for your time. We're just going to keep on cruising. We're just going to keep on cruising today. But you can see the playlist already looped because it's only two and a half hours. But the average person only watches for 30 minutes, which means statistically most of you have only heard one-fourth of it today if you watched today. Except for people that watch a lot, you know, you guys are, you guys are the, the outliers. I hope you enjoy it though. I hope you enjoyed the playlist. If you feel like, if you feel like any, anything in particular, um, yeah, well, I mean, you guys have been giving feedback, so I don't really know why I feel the need to say that. Maybe I just wanted to say thank you again. So that's what I'm going to do. We are against a Zerg, so we can go for our one racks expand, double battle cruiser rush into the Megazord build. That's what I like to call it, the Megazord build, because you end up with a giant, you get Thors, right? I mean, it's like Megazords. I mean, that's kind of the closest thing they are. Or Gundams, call it the Gundam build, if that's the kind of, if that's the flavor you prefer. Oh yeah, was this the one that had the too hard start? Let's see. Let's see if I can. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah. No. That's the only one. That's the only one I think probably. I don't like. I don't like how sharp that one starts. I gotta take that one out. Yeah. I got my Game Boy shirt. I got a Sega Genesis shirt. I'm cool like that. I'm cool like that. Hopefully one day I can have a Motorola Razor flip phone shirt. But, well, that's a hot commodity right there. Yeah, thanks, Creo. Only thing you miss is the color. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta change visual stuff around every few months, no matter what. I can only, I can only hold, I can only hold graphics settings a certain way. I'm weird like that, you know. I want it. I kind of every things, things have to change occasionally. Maybe the phantasmagoria of my broadcast style is not the the most, the most efficient thing at times, but. I mean, I'm out here trying to put on my idea of what I think be like kind of a chill place to hang out and watch video games and talk and that's yeah. This is how I express my goal to create that. Yeah, you know, maybe it comes across in different weird ways, but I feel like that's a part of the that's a part of the fun of the journey, right? I wouldn't call myself an artist, but I'd say that I you know I'm I take a lot of pride in my work. I like I like tinkering. I like tinkering quite a bit. Upgrade 
It's very, it's a very fun side part of doing all of this. Thank you, though. There need to be, there need to be places on the internet that aren't that stressful to hang out. You know what I mean? I'd like to, I'd like to be that. Maybe some days I'm, I'm closer than others, but I feel like I get a little bit closer every day, and that's all that matters. That's the only thing I care about. Just moving, moving forward, whatever, whatever pace is necessary. He's going for the scout. Still felt like he could have been really aggressive, so I wanted to get a tank. Excuse, sorry, I just kind of, kind of came out. Ready to plunder. Victory. Well, you know, you know, syrup. I'm gonna, perhaps, perhaps let's. Uh, here's. This might be this might be too this might be too much, so just just tell me to stop whenever you need me to. But in a way, in a way, it really is it really is something that I do, right? Like I, I kinda fixate on stuff. That's I'm good at it, right? I can lock in or whatever. Like I can focus really intensely on something and analyze every aspect of it that I can see. And that's something that I do in StarCraft and I'm I'm not always even conscious when I'm doing that and it's uh, it's something that I've been told before, you know. I, I kind of I can I can create a space in my mind where I just look at shit and I'm not really there. So or space out, whatever whatever you want to call it. But when I got to the point where I was starting to work on self improvement a little bit more, what I tried to do was focus directly on channeling whatever that was. Like I tried to find specifically that. And channel it towards the specific things that I didn't like or that I wanted to change. And that was really, really difficult. Like, reinforcing to myself that if I'm going to play StarCraft, it has to be because I want to have a good time or enjoy myself. I can't, I can't do it because I feel like I need to. And part of that was because of the angst that I had from some other stuff that wasn't really related. But, you know, it's like you end up taking it out on whatever's around you is something that I learned as well. And I learned that these feelings that I got when I was playing this game were not really coming from the game, you know? It was kind of like the game was able to push me in a way that drew out these these other negative feelings that I didn't really know I had. And I think specifically trying to target that is where I have made the most progress. I think that that has has done more for me than than anything else. What's going on? But like that trying to channel my own fixation onto uh onto things onto things that I want to change about myself has been uh somewhat somewhat effective anyway I've been working on not clenching my face all the time as well. That's been the more recent one. So I just am hyper aware of that now. I'm just hyper aware of any time I, I clench my face or strain my jaw at all. And I try to just manually relax it a little. And you know what? It works pretty well. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't just teleport into his base. It's pretty clear that he didn't have anything to deal with this. And now, now he likely does, yeah. 
And he's going to go straight for the hive. Well, let's at least make him use his transfuses on it. But this is where we now need to do the the correct move, right? If we want to win, anyway. We're gonna have to be try to be two to three percent smarter. No, getting this base right here. This is everything. I mean, he's trying to punch through the repair, but it's not working. Ho <laughs> ho! Goodbye, corruptors. Not bad, eh? Not bad at all. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Let's go. Let's go. Command center upgrade complete. Yes, commander. Add-ons finished. Mario time. Damn. Oh yeah, he's not even taking that spot. It's not even he's not even using that real estate. What is it? He's not even using that real estate. I split the BCs up. I just need Thors. I need as many Thors as I can get. another dude there oh banelings yeah i'll take bonus banes bonus banes bonus banes research complete well you know you know what's happening here right i mean this this is not this is not much of a secret anymore Oh, 
There's only one way that this can go from here. Absolutely dominated. Did he not have any ground army? Is that what the, is that what happened? Beautiful. Realizing that you react to bad things is most important. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Well, the awareness, the awareness is everything, right? It's all about not letting yourself get caught up for whatever reason. It'll make you better at the game too. And be able to be present, you know. Even though, even though I'm not as good as I used to be, I can maintain my skill and my performance a lot more consistently. My ups and my downs are a lot more, you know. The range, the range, the range of the ups and the downs has has nestled into a much more reasonable spot, I would say. Although. That kind of goes without saying, I think. I think anybody watching has probably noticed that. Nice dub. He had a lot of corruptors. How many did he have at the end? Was he just like too late trying to get broodlords? Is that it? What was he? What was his supply? He was close to max. He he had the hive really early. He got ultra cavern. He had a Nidus. What was his unit? Oh, yeah, he just had too many Corruptors. That was it. Never mind. See see how many Corruptors he had? 27. 27 Corruptors is a lot. That's a lot of resources. That's a lot of supply. So there was also a Burrowed Ling here and a Burrowed Ling there and a Burrowed Ling there. Everywhere a Burrowed Ling. GG. I don't even think I had... I think I had my 2-2 maybe finished right at the end. I think my plus two finished right at the end of that push. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Let's go next. Nice one, sir. Keep on rocking. Thank you. God bless, dog. Yo, Bonk. What's up, dog? Hello, hello. We're just playing some SC2 today. Just hanging out. Just hanging out.
We got a game. Got a Zerg player. Let's just keep this TVZ train rolling, huh? I think that's what I'm going to do. Let's do it again. Let's just dial it up. Run it back. I had a good mix of Cyclone and BC builds, but we're going back to mostly BC openers just because Cyclone kind of got nerfed. Kind of got nerfed out of the game. It's not a bad unit. It's not that it has no purpose. It's just that it's kind of in that Reaper role now. It doesn't have the upgrade scaling, so... It's good to defend certain stuff, like air harass or, um, you know, cheese. It's just not it's not a unit that scales at all anymore. So I wouldn't ever recommend making more than, like, two. So we're going to we're gonna mostly just be doing BC builds again, maybe ranged liberators at some point. Um, those did get nerfed, but they're still really strong anyway. So it's not, it's not like they'll ever be bad. But I've been rethinking a few of the strats. I tried to force the Cyclones a little bit this last week, and it just just doesn't work. The DPS DPS is so low. It's your time. What's going on? Huh? Bad Ben? Going? Huh? What's the big job? Huh? What's going on? This better be good. Ah! You scared me! Command Center 2.0, ready to go. Huh? Big job, huh? Let's put that. There you go. Drop the drop the planks. Whatever. Dead by daylight. Drop the pallets. Excuse me. Yeah, they nerfed it from the PTR. They nerfed it from the PTR. It's not... You can't, you can't use, ba battle mech is dead. Like battle mech, a cyclone, cyclone based mech, it's completely dead. It's not viable at all anymore. Yep. The DP, the DPS nerf, like their DPS on the last patch wasn't really enough to be spammable, except against like certain stuff for like cheese or against zerglings, but they basically nerfed them to not be good against lings anymore, but they didn't really give them any other compensation, so. They just they just don't they don't have the ability to really kill anything. And they still don't have their range. They used to have a long range lock on, but now it's just the same as their regular attack range, so it's like kind of eh. Will they make a new patch to fix it? Well I don't it doesn't necessarily mean it's a problem, and I didn't say it was a problem. All I did was say the unit itself just isn't really that good anymore. For all we know, that was Blizzard's intention with the patch. So it's entirely possible that they wanted the Cyclone to be relegated into this role. In which case, it wouldn't be a problem at all, right? Your add-on is complete. Be careful not to assume any additional meaning from what I say. I'm I'm pretty clear, pretty clear and straightforward with my words. It's not as good as it used to be. It still has a role. That's about it. That's about it. You can't spam them anymore. That's really, that's really the big change. He clicks right on it, too. He's like, I want it. I want it. Command 
But overall, I mean, this patch was, again, this was like one of the best patches, I think, in maybe five years. I think it's the biggest update they've done in five years. It's really nice. A lot of really good changes. Don't know why my camera is jumping to that corner of the screen. That's weird. Did I turn on my hacks, guys? Is he building something in that spot? Is that why? Is there something there? No. Oh, there's a Hydra Den, though. Oh, is this one? He's gonna. He's one of those guys. He's a Hydra Man. It's a Hydra Man. I get. I get these all the time. The two base. The two base Hydra. Two base Hydra bust. Oh yeah. It's gonna get. It's gonna get nuts. It's gonna get crazy. I mean, he's got a really fast Hydra Den, so it's good because it means he's probably not getting a Spire. Yeah, he's just got a bunch of Hydras chilling in his base. He's just waiting. He's just waiting. That's fine. Down, 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 down. You want to do weird stuff without scouting? That's fine. I can do the same thing too. Ooh, 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 ooh. It's gonna be hard for you to counterattack me in this situation, right? So it's not all bad. Do we know how many devs are working on the patch? No, we don't really get any information, but Blizzard Blizzard is working on the game, so that's that's all we get to know. That's about it. That's that's the that's the limits of what our awareness is. Blizzard Blizzard has people working on the game. There's a small team of people that gets to work with them, but aside from that, we don't get to hear anything else. Yeah, they've been releasing patches and stuff over the last two years. I think it's pretty clear that they just aren't really allowed to raise people's expectations. That's my assumption, as an outsider anyway. They've been pushing updates, getting maps updated as well. I think it's really worth keeping in mind that ESL has publicly stated several times they're not in charge of it, so... That means the NDAs, all that crap. It's being, there's somebody being paid to manage that shit. There's somebody who's, whose ass is on the line if this stuff doesn't get taken care of, you know? So, I don't think, I don't think ESL would lie about not being involved with the balance council because there's really, there's really very little that I think they could gain from doing that. But there's no other company that could be uh, running it, so it has to be Blizzard. I think the reason why they tell you no one's working on it is because they don't want, they just don't want people's expectations to get too high. I think that's it. I really do. That's why, that's why they always are like so, they're so uh, heavy on the NDA stuff. Because they're just, they're just not allowed, they're just not allowed to make people think that more stuff is going to happen than actually is happening. Like, they, they probably have people that think that if, if they talk about it, then people will expect StarCraft 3 or something. That'd be my guess. Swap away. 
Every little bit of value that you can get, Nathaniel, take it. Because the moment that he can push back across this map and kill you, he's going to. Just remember that. Remember that, Nathaniel. Trust your instincts. Remember your training. All right, let's go. Let's go clear out the, the roundabout overlords again, huh? He was making lurkers? Was he gonna lurker drop me? What the hell, bro? What the hell, dude? You gonna lurker drop me, bro? Are you kidding me right now? Why would you do that to me? Why would you do that to me? Why would you why would you lurk lurker drop me? Just hurts, bro. Just hurts. Look how many Hydras he has. Crazy. I mean, it's worth you modeling them because they do cost gas. Like, I'm not, not going to complain, but... Can I get him into, like, a little spot here? Yeah, see, see? Most of his Hydras can't reach me in this position, so I can just kill them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's trade. Let's trade a little, bro, bro. No? No, you don't want... Oh, you don't... He doesn't... Oh, oh, you want to use infestors? You wanted to bring infestors into our relationship? I'm disgusted. I'm dis I'm disgusted. No, I can't... I can't look at you the same. Never again. Never again. No. And I'm never doing that for you again either. No, no. Whoa! We're here. We've made it to that phase of the game. We just gotta max out with everything else we have left on basically nothing other but Thors. Nothing other than Thors. And we will be okay. It will take us to the promised land. No, it's absolutely not over. Oh, shit. Oh, you had a few more. You had a few more boyos there. Well, Nate, you just gotta, like, not have all your siege tanks in one spot like an idiot, really. And then that whole situation doesn't happen. Oh, don't. First of all, don't call my friend an idiot. That's not very nice. Second of all, yeah, I see what you're saying. We can, we can move a few of the tanks over. 
Okay. Not a problem. See? What is it? There you go. All yes, good. All good. Ready to raise some hell. You've mined out some of your minerals. Your command center's got some new toys. Go Guys are depleted. You bled the planet dry. Burn Notice that he hasn't touched this base at all. Is he gonna finally go will he finally make a move on this one once I take it? That's what I wanna know. He's getting another spire. Well, really, this is the play because we just get a bunch of we get a bunch of ravens for the infestors. And notice, yeah, he clicks he clicks on it, guys. He clicks directly on it, ignores it the whole game, ignores it the whole entire game. But when push comes to shove, yeah, he was not gonna just let me take this. Yeah, see these he just ignores it until I mine from it. It's like the weirdest it's like the weirdest snipe behavior I've ever seen. It's so it's so strange. It's a wild level of griefing, that's all I have to say. It's a pretty it's a pretty intense a pretty intense level of griefing to aspire to. Oh, we still have just about everything that we need. We're just in this awkward situation of... We're just in this new awkward situation of him him no longer engaging us except for when we're out of position. Just, I, gotta, I gotta do like the most paranoid scans now. I'm just expecting him to send his infestors with no vision to my guys. I'm just, just expecting it now. Ready. You've mined out some of your minerals. What is it? Ravens are mine. Yeah. Oh, it's a trap. Your CVs didn't sign up to fight. Yeah, I just want the lurkers. We're almost maxed out. It takes forever. It's tough. It's It's been a hard fight. It's been a hard fight this game. I can't lie. We're almost there, though. We're getting there. We're making a little progress, a little bit by bit. He made it seem like he was ready to go into uh, Broodlords with that last move, so. Got him. 
And he sent all those overlords to the other bases again. Oh, we got that bottom right one, too. Didn't realize Thors had that long of a range. Dude, they're good, man. They're good. Thors, Thors can shoot. It's like, what is it? 11 or 10 or something crazy. They got crazy anti-air range. Yeah, they have 11 range. 11 range against air units. It's one of the reasons why Thors are such a good backbone to any late game mech army. They're able to do a ton of damage. Tech swap after BC always messes people up. Yeah. You can see a lot of these guys, they clown on me if I go BC and stick with it because it's not that hard to win against BCs. But if I go BC into my actual mech style, then then it gets quite a bit more difficult. We beat we beat a guy that was a thousand MMR higher than us yesterday with this with this build. And that was also like a 27 minute game. It was awesome. Crazy. Crazy, crazy. What was his build? He got his lair pretty early. 3 347. I feel like most Zergs aim for a little closer to 420-ish. But he went. Yeah, hatch, pool, gas. Eh, maybe it's not that crazy. Maybe it's not that crazy. Let's go next. That was a great game, though. That was a lot of fun. I think they reduced the range of burrowed infestors, right? The vision, the vision range of them. So it's a little bit, it's a little bit harder now, I think, to uh, use them in that mode. But they used to have like a crazy long vision when, when they were burrowed and now they don't. So they're a little bit worse, thankfully. It's time to kick things off. All right, we've got... Oh, another Zerg. There you go. TVZ all day, baby. TVZ all day. I'll take it. I will take it. Oh. Katie sent me a video of the pooch. Or, or is that... Is it Shorty? Katie sent me a wholesome animal video. We're gonna bring it back. Run it back. Round two. Well, this isn't the same guy, but you know. We're playing more Zergs. It, it, we could we could like come up with a fake campaign. How about that? Okay, roll roll for this mission. Right. Oh the button didn't work this time. Damn. If I press refresh cache on that page, it will work. But it doesn't seem to automatically do that. There we go. All right, what do we got? A one? <sighs> well, I guess I'm, what, is proxy hatch? Am I getting proxy hatched? Is that it? Yeah, check for the proxy hatch first, Nate. I rolled a one. I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Um, ooh, it's kind of a lot. I have a, like multiple different answers. Slightly technical, slightly preference, slightly trying different things. Um, yeah, bunch bunch of different reasons. I've been trying to say on stream for the last few months that those were going to be deprecated soon. So I hope you I hope you enjoyed them while they were here. Command 
Some of the stuff that I do with the graphics and the fanciness on the stream actually takes a bit of effort to maintain, so... That's all. Some things I don't like, I don't enjoy maintaining. Or I don't feel that I, they really drive any value. Like being able to change what color I want to play as on a whim, for example. I've been wanting to switch the color I played as for quite a while. I like I like swapping it quite kind of randomly, almost haphazardly even. Plus the chroma hardly worked anyway, so it wasn't really it wasn't really that clean. You didn't do anything sneaky beaky like fly behind my base, right? No, okay, good. Command center two point oh, ready to go. SCV ready. SCV ready. Add on done. Swap away. Let's get into the fight. Transformation systems primed. All right, let's see. Let's see what he does. Let's see how he responds. Big job. Bad news. You're the bomb. Let's ready. What's going on? He's got a lot of spores, he's got roaches. You ready for war? Well, his spire is damn near done, so I think we don't really have too much to worry ourselves over here. Yes, research complete. He's invested a ton into surviving this, so we don't have to worry. Oh, wow, he still had the Overlord there, too. Fascinating. Fascinating. What's going on? Huh? Yes, Commander. Yes. Add-ons finished. SCV ready. Your research is ready. Mineral field. Good thing you've got more of those, right? What's our target? Big job, huh? Got no patience. Best in being ready. Moving. 
We just get out enough to not die to a big roach shove. Then we transition into Thor's. That's what we do. That's how we survive. Always doing a little corrupter scout in the one spot where there's minimal turret coverage. I get it, man. I get it. Boom, boom, ba -dum, ba -dum, dum, 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 dum. Got him, me, 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 Around the outside, Hellbats are here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come here, come here. Come into the danger zone. Bow, 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 bow. No, that's it. That's his plan. Send roaches around the map to clear out the missile turrets. And then corruptors just run in and kill everything, I guess. Magically. Magically. Feeling pretty good, though. Got a lot of units. Got a lot of supply. Wow, that was it. That was his plan. Just aim moved a bunch of corruptors into my dudes, and they all died. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> He's like, I made corruptors. Why don't I just win the game? Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, the hive. Mm. 
He had a lot of stuff. He even took this base during all of that. He was, he was, he was trying to be a little greedy boy. Did he even build a greater spire though? That's my only question. Was he at least was he at least going for it at the end? He was. He was going for it. At the moment where he leaves, it's like right about to finish. Oof. That is absolutely brutal. Did you well play it? Thank you, Max. Appreciate that, sir. That that's that's brutal, man. That's brutal. I feel like I just baned him, you know, straight up. Broke his back, Mortal Kombat smack. Fantastic. Fantastic. All right, guys, I'm going to take two minutes. Grab myself a snack, stretch my legs. I suggest you do the same. Or find something else to watch. It's all good. I'll be all around for the next few hours. Uh, probably at least another two hours of games coming up. We'll see how I'm feeling after 5 o'clock. God bless you guys. Really appreciate everybody watching today. It really means a lot to me. Thank you for the support. I'll be right back.
All right, we're back. Hey, everybody. Happy Tuesday. We got a game. The quest for glory begins. Oh, well, for some reason, I always think that the exit to my base is on the bottom. Every time I'm on this map, I'm always going to the wrong spot. Uh, this guy is playing random. So, one base battle cruiser rush. Yeah, exactly. You got me. You get it, Jasmine. You get it. I knew Nate was greater than Cyril. You know, I think if I was Zeus, Cyril would probably be a god of equivalent strength. I don't I don't think I would put myself above him. I don't think I would want to. Maybe I could be Poseidon and he could be Zeus. Then we're reasonably, you know, we're brothers or some shit like that. I like Cyril though. We're going to find out. We'll find out what the matchup is in a sec. He didn't scout or anything, so he has he has no info about the game. So it's not we're not the only ones in the dark, right? We're not the only ones in the dark. Oh, he's going pre-playing Protoss. See, it's fine. That's a okay. We can do our strategy. We can do our strategy versus Protoss. You better believe it, dog. I'm like, we don't have anywhere near enough gas to actually start it, so. It's fine if it's a little late, though. He, he's playing. He's building shield batteries and shit. He's getting all turtly. He didn't even scout. I think we know. I think we know exactly who we're. It's exactly the kind of person we're dealing with.
targeted. Huh? Yep. In the rear. Got it. What's going on? Yo, thanks for the follow, dog. Is complete. All right, let's see what he's got. What is this? Yeah, he's turtle AF, bro. He's, tur he's super turtle. It's Giga Turtle. Let's just go, baby. Let's just push it. Let's just push it. We'll let him win. We'll do him. We'll do him a kindness, a little charity today. I'm feeling charitable. He wants to turtle and not play the game with me. That's fine. But I want to play. I want to play. So we're gonna, we're gonna do something. We're gonna do more than nothing. He wants to do nothing, but we're gonna do more than nothing. Oh, he just blind hard countered us. That's hilarious. Well, that guy was pretty obviously sniping in some way, so I'm just going to dodge him, and then we'll queue up after. That's the first game he's played in two days. I knew it. There you go. Can't make this shit up. <sighs> Not surprised at all. Well, once he's in a game or logs off, I'll queue up. If he doesn't queue up for one or two minutes, then I'll search unranked. But I'm going to grab myself a bag of fruit snacks from the other room uh, while he queues. You guys all know Nathan's just super paranoid. This guy will search for a game. He's not going to sit here and wait for us. And if he does, then that means Nathan is right and it was good to wait. So I'll be right back. All right, looks like he's still waiting for me to queue. Um, yeah, I'll search unranked then. We'll just play unranked until he stops uh, sniping us. That's all. No risk. We got, we got a game against somebody else. Hell yeah. Let's get it. The quest for glory begins. Your cute smile. Bad 
bad news. Huh? What's going on? Yeah, Terran versus Protoss this game. Well, at least I know the matchup this time. That helps. Gotcha. Ben, huh? Go ahead. SCV ready. Well, I don't think this guy's sniping, right? So let's BC rush him. Not everybody can just blind Tempest rush. I'm, I don't believe it's possible. I don't think it's possible. The show isn't that popular, guys. Go patrol over there. We'll just wait. Just wait a little bit. We want to start the BC first, and then we'll expand.
That's his production right there. That's all of it, so. He's gonna play with Blinky Boys. He's gonna get all up in our grill. Get another command center, another star porter too. Woo, that was close. Yeah, what are you gonna do, bruh? What are you gonna do? Nothing. Ain't doing shit. Yeah, that one, that one couldn't make it. That one was never gonna get out. That's okay, that's okay. Yeah, see, this one might be a little too hard, right? This one might be a little too hard. Probably, probably a little too intense compared to the other tracks, right? That's, that's kinda, that's kinda where I'm, where I'm at with some of it. some of your minerals. <laughs> Workers win games. Protect them. Who called in the... SCV ready. Bad news. Command center upgrade complete. She did all it did all that and then just recalled it out. Okay, okay. All right then. All right then. There you go. What's that? Oh, he's got a lot of stalkers. You see that? Your command center's got some new toys. He's got a lot of units just sitting outside my base. Right? 
<laughs> really late for a zealot drop. Yeah, seriously. I mean, with the amount of units he has sitting outside my base, I don't feel comfortable just... Hmm. Okay, well, getting a free Archon before the fight starts is pretty sick. Trying to focus the Stalkers with the tanks. Yeah, he's got armor upgrades and I don't have any attack upgrades on my BCs. That's why that's why it took forever to kill that. Crazy, right? Crazy. I didn't think he would punch through that hard, but that plus one really stacked. That plus one was brutal without the without the BCs having any upgrades. That was awful. Oh man, yeah, he's already he's all he's he's turtling up for the long haul now. He's putting away his nuts for winter already. Oh, and he's, we've got the we've got the mini map clicker. We've got the mini map clicker, boys. Okay, so if he's gonna click on my stuff through fog of war, then I mean that's that's a pretty big tell. So we'll just assume his whole army's gonna be over here at this base for no reason. Go ahead. Yes, come on. Yeah, actually, there it is. Yeah, he did just come out here to meet me. There you go. It's about what we expected. That's unfortunate. Yeah, okay, well, if he, he just seemed like he knew where all my stuff was magically, so no observer here, right? Yeah, he's nothing. Yeah, I mean, we just take a mulligan on this one. Let's go next. I don't really, don't really feel like there's anything I can logically deduce from that game, so let's just pretend that didn't happen and queue up again. All right, we got another Protoss player. SCV ready. Ah, you scared me. We hear you. Huh? Huh? SCV ready. What's the? What's the?
Let's see. Hmm. One of those days, huh? Ay ay ay. Center 2.0, ready to go. Yeah, I don't actually hardly anybody, hardly anybody has scouted me at all today. And now that you point that out, it is pretty funny. You got to remember, right? Like, people are very, like, tribalistic in StarCraft, you know? Like, people who play Terran hate everybody that doesn't and vice versa for the other races. So there are, like, people that, they don't even know me, but, like, just because I'm Terran, they're like, oh, yeah, we'll fuck with this guy, you know? So I don't take it personally. It's just, like, a whole thing. I'm one of the most popular Terran streamers. I'm one of the Terran streamers that gets the most viewers. If you want to mess with or troll a Terran guy because you see Terrans is different from you as a human because you play this game too much and don't really have anything else going on, then, hey, I can't stop you, right? I can't stop you. And I, I really wouldn't care to. It sounds like a lot of work. I don't think that many people snipe me. I think my luck is just terrible. That being said, hey... Takes a lot of work to show up every day for me, so not everybody not everybody would put that kind of time in, you know? Anybody who shows up for me, I'm grateful. In the rear with the gear. Some fans just have a hard time expressing themselves, that's all. Jimmy Johns, yeah, oh, that's gonna be so good. Loud and clear. No, I can't wait. Here's your stop. Inbound. SCV ready. ETA one eight. Ready for pickup. Ready to blunder. I heard that. In the park. Get me back in. Take an effort, dropping off. Use the stanza. Life lights here. Nicely done. Go ahead. Talk to me. Transformation systems. SCV ready. Now what? Inbound. How did he proc? Oh, see, just yeah, it's just another guy blind countering me, right? It's proxy Stargate on this map where I'm gonna drop him. No scout. Yeah. It's just another loser. Let's go next. First game they played all day as well. Shocker. Shocker. I'll dodge them and then we'll queue up. All right, they're in a game.
I'll let you guys know when we get a game. All right, we got a match. It's time to kick things off. Yeah, not too much laser crabs. I find that I find that when I stream, I usually play the same like 5 to 10 people and not really many other players. And when I play off stream, I usually play people I never play against. If you watch the stream long enough, you start to notice. I, I mostly play I mostly play the same people. No matter how many people are online or what time of day it is, I'll play this I'll play usually the same five to ten people. Pretty consistently. That being said, this guy's named Amelia. Yeah, I think I'm pretty sure pretty sure I played this guy. Pretty sure this guy uh, one based me the other day. I think this is uh, another cheesy Protoss player. Who is not, I, I guess today the MO is don't probe scout. Just mess with his head. Just nobody probe scout all day, I guess. I don't know. See, he's probe scouting. We're fine, we're fine. The world is going back to normal. The world is going back to normal. Everything's okay. Yo, Jimmy James. Thanks for the sub, bro. I appreciate you. Hope you had a good day. is healing exactly exactly oh, my opponent is scouting me for the first time in two hours of games my opponent has sent a scout across the map <laughs> master has presented dobby with a sock dobby is free What's going on? do i get to play normal starcraft again dad please Call off your bounty hunters, Marston. Oh, he's giving me the ick big time. Big time.
Not big time rush. Big time ick. It feels like a blink rush of some kind. Whether it's to be all in or not is remains to be seen. Oh, thank you for the observer. Kind, kind, sir. Okay, it's not the all-in kind, since we killed the obs like that. I'd, I'd be shocked if he really tried to force it after that one. That would be a, a bold move, as Kerrigan would say, back in the day. Feeling strong, feeling strong. The battle cruiser layer covers the time. Is it on purpose? Yes, yes, it is. Got you. Yeah, this isn't a super hardcore StarCraft stream anymore. We're casual boy now. If it makes it 2% harder for someone to grief me, then I'll take it. All right, I just want to be able to play the game on a reasonably even footing as my opponents. And beyond that, I don't really give a shit about anything else, so. That's where we're at. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of what we're worried about, right? I mean, that's that's what he wants to do. Just kill us with that stuff, so. say this is about what we expected right it's actually not going too bad though somehow Thank you, Navy Dragon. I appreciate that. Thank you, sir. You're going to finally build a PC, Milo? Hell yeah, dude. That's awesome. That's awesome. Hey, man, making your own, build, putting your computer together like that, doing that kind of stuff, I feel it's, I, I like to say it's pretty fulfilling. It's, it's quite fun. I'm a big tinkerer when it comes to my rig, so I'm excited. I'm excited to hear that you're, you're going on the, the journey, the journey. He's just gonna try and push the main to like kill me here, most likely, right? Like that's, I think that's what we're kind of what we're kind of dealing with now. I can't, I can't figure it out, to be honest. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah that is what he's doing.
Yeah, he doesn't have any base defense. He hardly has anything. You've mined out some of your minerals. And my PCs are pretty good. I got 2-2 two, two on them. My opponent does not have upgrades, so. Not doing too shabby, huh? Yes, oh, really? Mind out a mineral field. Good thing you've got more of those, right? Uh -huh. Oh, really? You've depleted that mineral field. What's going on? Yes, State your request. I like where this went, though. This game got real weird. It did. Yes, it got extremely weird. Heavily due to him not having any upgrades, but hey. You gotta take the dub. Sometimes, sometimes life is gonna give you those. Sometimes life will give you that dub. Got him. He almost got my stuff. Whoo! Let's take that pile on out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the upgrades are really good for me early on, but I can't. I haven't been able to afford to like keep them going at that pace. So now we're like two to three percent broke. Yay! Two to three percent broke. Man. Come on down. Come on down. Blink that stalker, boy. Blink it. Blink it like a blanket and then dunk it. I got two for one. Well. Big job, huh? How long is the uh, cooldown on the warp jump? 71 seconds. You the build time of a spire. None Oh yeah, he's not. He's not getting in there. In your sweetest dreams, boy. You've exhausted that best. 
Oh, like an API for Star an API for Twitch for SC2. That would be cool, but I don't think that exists now. I mean, Nate, bunching up like that against the Archons might actually kill you, just to be clear. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There you go. That was actually maybe one of the few ways he could have killed you. No GG! No GG? Wow. Wow. I'm breaking my heart. You're tearing me apart, Lisa. You hate to see it. Or maybe you love to see it. Hard to say. I gave you some PC building tips about a year ago. Oh, nice, nice. Hey, that's awesome though. I'm glad, I'm glad you were able to end up finding something that you could fall in love with and want to use and play. And that's the dream really. Like, as I've said, I'm a big tinkerer. For me, any chance I get to upgrade my setup or make a change that either improves the ergonomics of my desk or improves the performance of my, of my stream or of my games, those are all really big things for me, so. From one from one PC builder to another. Good luck, sir, and have fun. The flying sparks to the way left back of the base always make me think it's an enemy unit. That map, that map specifically has an absolutely I agree with you, by the way, 100 percent Super annoying doodad that sparks and looks like it looks like it's something that you'd be like, oh, it draws your eye, and then you glance over and it's nothing. And then it draws your eye and you glance over and there's nothing. And then, it, yeah. That 5700? Nice. Yeah, I don't know what the G specific, I don't know what the G specification on the end of it is, but nice, nice. Might be like an OEM reference model. Last guy had a dark shrine, but I don't think we saw any DTs. G has integrated graphics. Oh, cool, cool. I forgot they were shipping some of those with uh, D with DGPUs in them, or I IGPUs in them. He sent some DTs to the third base. The widow mines blew the DTs up on my workers. And then he sent the the zealots in to the planetary base. That's that was that was when he used his dark shrine. You're not wrong though. They hardly had a presence on the show. They came and left in a flash. Although I suppose for the man who walks in the shadows, that's maybe par for the course. Maybe par for the course. Oh my god, Katie just reminded me. She reminded me with that post in chat earlier. Katie's getting Katie's getting us Jimmy John's today. Makes me very happy. God bless. God bless Jimmy John's. They're right next. They're right next to the GameStop. Oh, is that kind of fast? It's kind of late. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, cheeky, cheeky, Calaris. He canceled it. Oh, I saw the cancel. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> How come you didn't expand to the gold base first? See, guys, this is why I don't argue with people in chat. I love you, sir. There's no gold base in my main on this map. You're thinking of the other map. They do look pretty similar, though. They do look pretty similar. You're good. You're good. 
It's all good, man. This map, this map is like, this is like down by the river or whatever. Like it's this, this map has just one canyon that goes through the middle straight up and the entire outside is completely blocked off on both directions. This map is just, is wild. It's, it gets absolutely crazy. But when your unit dies, it does have lingering vision around where it was for about three to four seconds. So that's why I was able to see him cancel the Roach Warren. He tried to wait, but it was about to finish. So he had no choice. He had no choice but to cancel it. In, well, he had no choice but to cancel it where I could see it. Now, if he was watching the stream and he saw that I saw that, then the funny thing to do would be to immediately start the Roach Warren again and then actually just Ravager bust me because whether or not it works, it would be hilarious. And it would be. It'd make for a great show. It would make the show more interesting. Writers, I'm open to that plot twist. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell Irene. Yeah, she can throw it in there. She can th throw it in there, Irene. That's the character outside this level of the universe or whatever that writes whoever I am. Some shit like that. I still had to be like two to three percent cautious and still get the tank out because there's really there's there's still still right. If he wanted to do it, it's not like it's not like he might not just do something else similar. So you saw how he was trying to cancel it as late as possible. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's how I know. That's like that's how you know. That's also why you stare. That's why I stared at it. Even though it would have disappeared on my mini map, I might not have actually looked and noticed or seen that. I think we're there. Nope, we're supply blocked. All right, wait, one, two. Okay, go, go. Then we'll get the third CC. Yeah, well, if you see that the building goes away, it'll, it'll disappear on your mini-map. All you need to do is have vision of it. I just might not have glanced up there. I might not have actually looked in time. Like, what I probably would have done if I didn't see it blow up is I would have just panicked, thrown down another bunker, tried to get ready for the all-in, cheese, what have you, etc. So, like, this guy Muta rushed me, but at the same time, I don't actually think he got too much for it, so I think we're okay. Did kill a lot of SCVs, but we have our gas, and that's the most important thing. <laughs> Is it, though? Yeah, we can still get our upgrades. Well, our next BC wave will be late. Let's just squeeze out a Raven round to fill in between. That's probably the move. That's probably his third. Uh, 
probably. Probably boom, 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 right? Since his spire was so fast and he went pool first. It's a very low eco play style. And we're gonna get mech upgrades. I'm not I'm not gonna prioritize error or anything like that this game. Just try to get into a somewhat stable three base setup. Take it from there. Take a few guys off of mining that gas, that's all. Your research has concluded. Go ahead. Upgrade complete. Is he dumb? This doesn't work. You know that, right? Nice. Well, we got him to burn a bunch of his corruptors for nothing, so that was pretty dope. Wait, he really thought he was just going to dive that and kill it? Really? Okay, okay. All right, then. He saw me, he saw me start to make something other than just uh, battle cruisers, and he realized that, realized this wasn't going to go the way he thought it was. Possibly. Going crazy, crazy. Talk to me, boss. Getting the fourth base is gonna be a nightmare, though. That's how you get me to make more battle cruisers, though. So, well done, I guess. If that was your goal. All right. Well, he hasn't really left me with many moves, huh? This must be what he wants. Got something for me. 
I mean, you're doing great, kid. Almost there. I <laughs> got him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was amazing, though. That was amazing. Did you see? Let's let's go back to the start. Let's go back to the start. The the hero SCV. Yeah, not enough banelings. Five minutes later, you would have checked and be like, "Wait, did he cancel it?" Exactly, exactly. The reason why I stare at it is specifically to make sure that I don't I don't not notice him canceling it. I figured there was a pretty good chance that he would cancel it just because I saw it, right? Like it's all about it's all about mind games. No GG, by the way, from this guy. So clearly he was gonna do a Roach or Ravager rush. And then the SCV scout shows up and I mean, this is what makes it interesting because he kills it, right? And you know what? His, it actually wasn't that close to finishing, but he thought what he was thinking in this moment was that if I didn't see, and I this is my vision because I actually do stare at it, remember? But you still have a little bit of vision after. You still have a little bit for a few seconds and he basically canceled it on the final possible frame that he could have. And that's why, that's why I knew. That's why I knew. And that's the crazy thing is he probably didn't even know. He probably didn't know. He thought that I thought that he was going roaches, but I knew he wasn't going roaches, but he didn't know that I knew that he wasn't going roaches. And I knew that he didn't know that I knew that he was going roaches. So I was able to take advantage of that and be very greedy. And if any of those words, if you've been able to follow along, God bless you. Yo, TKL. Happy Tuesday, bro. I'm just chilling, man. We're building battle cruisers, dog. Building, building BCs, Thors, Liberators, all that good stuff. But he was expecting me to act a certain way based on what I scouted. But him not being 100% sure whether or not I actually knew if he canceled it or had it, that was that was perfect. That was perfect. I probably would have built... If I didn't see him cancel it, I probably would have built a second bunker. I wouldn't have done... I would not have done more than that, but... It would have probably delayed my BCs by maybe another like 10, 15 seconds. So, thank God. Don't you have sunglasses? I do have sunglasses. Yes, sometimes sometimes I go out into the sunlight. Sometimes I go outside and there is sunlight. Aww, that's adorable. Katie, that's a beautiful... Oh, I freaking love Finnegan. He's so handsome. He's a handsome boy. That's a good dog. That is a good... That is a damn good dog. Katie, Katie's sending me all the cute pics today from work. Was he running out in the field? Oh, oh, is that the horse? Oh, shorty. Oh, he's jumping around. He is excited. He's amped up. I need to watch it to the end, apparently, but I, I I got a game, so. We are against a barcode Zerg this game. Han's got the zoomies? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, sometimes I wear the sunglasses uh, on stream on Fridays to spice things up. Something, sometimes I do that to spice things up a little bit. Make a, it can make a Friday a little more exciting kind of a thing. A little amp up, a little hype. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the gift sub, yo. Appreciate it, appreciate it. 
I got that little firework thing that goes off. People sub. It's cool. It's cool. Been playing around with my, my tech toys and all that jazz. It's been fun. Working on a few more cool things like that. We've had a lot of TVZ today. We've had a tremendous amount of games against Zerg. Thunder. You know, it's the carrier BC and Bane on the HUD. Yeah, you know, I thought, I figured, especially since we're going to be streaming a lot of different games this year, the games that I want to do mainstay-wise, I'd like to make some of the graphics a little more game-specific. So I figured I'd put some StarCraft graphics on the StarCraft screen when I play StarCraft, and figured I'd put a little representation from Terran, Protoss, and Zerg, because you guys know, I don't love StarCraft because of Terran. I love StarCraft because StarCraft is awesome. And Protoss and Zerg are both parts of that. I'm pretty base like that. No prejudice or gatekeeping here. What can I say? I'm built different. That's why we show a little bit of love to everybody. We show love here. That's what we do. Oh, we also lift off our command centers on accident. We do that too. Shrek gift. Make it a little more fun, you know? Keep it, make it a little less, a little less serious. A little bit less serious. But yeah, so you can see this playlist goes for a little bit of a different vibe. It's uh, it's got a little bit of a balance. There's some swings to it. Some of them, some of them are a little, little more hardcore than others. But uh, something I'll continue to to work on. Something we'll continue to iterate on. This is the first time I've played it on stream, so I feel like feel like I've gotten an idea of which ones I I have gelled with and which ones I haven't. Oh, there is the, the roach. Look at him. Where's Carlisle when you need him? Better be. Huh? In the rear with the gear. You can 
Yo, good, good Odin. What's up, what's up? Keeping it real. How was the weekend? Weekend was great. Had a great Easter. It was awesome. How about you? What's he doing? What's he? Oh, there's the spoiler. There it is. Hell yeah, man. Keep on keeping on. He's got ravagers on oh, no. oh, 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 oh. I killed another spire. Oof. I mean, look, bro, you're, you Ravager busted me. Okay, you had your chance. You had your chance. You made your choices. Yeah, overlords are kind of a liability now, aren't they? It's funny how that works. First you send them across the map like they're worthless. Next you're panicking and you can't get enough. All right, well, let's see what you got. Yeah, no. Gold minerals, it's a no-no. Was he even able to make corruptors? Okay, there they are. B E A beautiful. You've depleted that mineral field. What? Good job. Ready to raise some hell. Freelancer slump. Yeah, I know. I know how you feel. 
Bro, I was in esports. I was a freelance esports commentator, and then the entire industry disintegrated overnight. Absolutely wild. Just out here waiting for the day that venture capitalists can try and blow some money making video game tournaments again. It's gonna be it's gonna be a little while before that happens, though. I think. The Zerg's on some hardcore copium. He's hanging in there. He's doing his best. He's a barcode, though, right? You know, he thinks of himself as a pro. Oh, he revealed more overlords to me. Yeah, he can't make anything because he doesn't have overlords. It's amazing. It's the best part of this game. I mean, I think he only just rebuilt his lair, so he literally couldn't even do it. Oh, more overlords, too. Ninja base, but you're sending overlords from your ninja base. See, that's, that's where you lose me. That's where you start to lose me, Doug. Barcode defeated. See, it's like Smash Bros. Except the only bro getting smashed is him. Look at that, more overlords. Blood for the blood god. <laughs> oh, he took this base too? Oh, look at him, he's crazy. He's crazy. Absolutely wild. GG. Great match. Damn delicious overlords. That's what I'm talking about, man. That's what I'm talking about. Huge, huge dub. Huge dub right there. Let's go next. Let's keep it moving. Keep it grooving. Yeah, mo most people in the industry got their work, like got the, the breadth of their work from like widespread, widespread small projects and there just aren't any more of those. So you're either on the good side of ESL or you don't have a job anymore. That's, that's, that's about it. But there used to be a lot of small companies that operated in the space that have pretty much all all dropped off the face of the earth. As you guys know, uh, rates, interest rates and stuff went up. There was uh, massive defrauding of uh, bajillions of dollars by FTX and all of that. So most of that ended up gutting a lot of the, the tech startups, which were largely in the esports as well. So there just hasn't, hasn't been anywhere near as much going on in that department. Uh, as there were even like two years ago. It's crazy amounts of stuff happening. But like any like anything else, you know, it's like cycles that go up and down. Now FTX sponsored a lot. FTX sponsored a lot of leagues and uh, companies in the space. Or they had their, their money through SBF, so, or uh, Silicon Valley, so. Yeah, e ESL is basically the only major player unless you are working directly for like a developer, basically. So it's just tough. Like, you know, they obviously don't hire me to do any StarCraft related things, but they don't really have much else going on outside of their big games either. So there's not really like a lot of small projects happening is, is mostly what I mean, which is where the majority of people get their get their work, the stuff in between everything big. Like, it used to be that there were big things, like 10 big things a year, and then a lot of stuff between that, and then it was like, now there's five big things a year, and not a lot between that. Does that, does that make sense?
There's just not really any opportunity. It's not a lot. Not a lot happening. Yeah. The big players are all still there, obviously, but none of the small ones are. Your command center's got some new toys. What's it worth? Fear the Reaper Man. What? You want something? SCV ready. Huh? Yep. What's it worth? Been out of the loop? Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. Uh, ESL hired a new guy to be in charge of StarCraft, and that was that was when they stopped hiring me. So, I guess I guess he doesn't like me. I, I, I broke his heart at some point. I don't know. <laughs> I got over it a long time ago, but it's still fun to watch. The production of their show, the quality of the show has gotten better. So, I think the fact that they make the casters observe is really the only thing I don't like about... Uh, uh, ESL shows they can't they won't they won't spend they won't hire an observer that's what kind of sucks they make the casters they make the casters observe the dreamhack tournaments that's the only thing I don't like about uh, about this show otherwise it has improved a lot and every everybody on there is still great so I can still tune in and listen to Ben and Kevin shit talk each other for an hour a day you know Brings me some comfort. Oh, he hasn't even expanded yet. I see. He's being cheeky. He's a little cheeky boy. He's a little cheeky boy, huh? What's going on? Been waiting on you. Ready for pickup? Nice try. We'll do some fire here. SCB ready. Oh, faced. I got the SCV. Worth. Whew. Got him. Understood. The more times you say you got him, the better you better job you did. Just in case anybody was wondering. It's very, very, very important. It's very important. When you get him, when you get him, you have to say got him, you know? There we go. There we go. There we go. Give me your reapers, brah. Beautiful. Inbound. Pick. Where's the emergency? Let's go. Be ready. ETA, one minute. Heading out. I heard that. SCV ready. Armed and ready. SCV ready. Who called in the fleet? Oh, okay, okay. I guess I guess he's got the stream up, huh? <laughs> did he see it? Did I give it away? Or did he see the fusion core? What? What did I... What? I love this game, man. Yeah, I bet you this guy's got a poster of me up on his wall. This guy dreams about this guy dreams about me noticing him. 
He fantasizes. Well, we got to play against another guy that just knows everything, ladies and gentlemen. This was another guy that didn't scout, right? I think that's 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 another another common denominator. Another common denominator for us. He wants to land the Vikings on the tanks, that's why he's trying to get me to teleport away. Probably knows probably knows he has to take advantage of the information advantage he has. If I get this into a place where we're even or close to even, then there's not gonna be much he can do, so Oh yeah, his first scan of the game. I'm impressed. He's he's trying. He's throwing me. He's throwing me a penance scan. He's throwing me. He's throwing me a pity scan. I appreciate it. I appreciate a pity scan. He's trying not to make it too obvious. I feel you. I feel you. Let's take a streamer base. Search complete. No, I thought the Liberator saw the fusion core when it came in. I thought I already had it, but I might not, I might not have. I think he knew. I think he saw the fusion core from that. Either way, all I had to do was complain a little and he started scanning, so I'll take it. Oh, it's a tough it's a tough discussion to have you know the audio thing it's like people that know too much it's like you can there are a lot of really good 60 hertz displays out there there's a lot of really nice 60 hertz monitors and tvs but there's you know as a point you reach when you get too deep in on some of this stuff and then you kind of you're like well now everything kind of just revolves around this and I think that that's a fairly easy trap to fall into. Command 
center's got some new toys. Upgrade complete. Look at that. Boom. Yes, Commander. Well, who called in the fleet? What is it? He was trying to catch that base on the upper right, and he just totally whiffed on it. Hell yeah. But yeah, audio stuff can get crazy, crazy granular. But the truth, the truth of audio, and this is, this is perhaps why you suffer. But the truth of audio is that nobody really cares unless it's bad. Because, frankly speaking, most people don't tune their ears that well. I don't blame the people. I don't blame the people in that statement. But I will say, I will say, it's just one of those things, you know? It's just one of those things. Well, the streamer base is gone. Let's see. Let's go for it again. Will? Go ahead. Yes, Commander. Will? Yes, Commander. Huh? Yes, Commander. What is it? Acknowledged. Bum, 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 bum. Nice try. Uh, uh, he flew his base away. Couldn't even see me coming. By the way, he moved away with no vision. He moved all that. He flew his base away well before I got there. He knows. He knows. Oh, he's going. He, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He scans there. He scans right as my army flies in. Right as the mules were about to go into that vision range, by the way. He's trying to justify why he knows that I have that base in the bottom left, even though he doesn't. He's already trying to frame it. He's already trying to frame it. You mined out a mineral field. Good thing you've got more of those, right? Yeah, yeah. He's just clicking on my army. Fog of war. No big deal. <laughs> Now he's gonna go shut down this base that he doesn't know about, right? You've exhausted that. Ay, ay, ay. What's going on? Yes, command center's got yeah, he just keeps scanning and he's just tracking my stuff. You've bled the planet dry. He's just right there. Your base is getting blasted. Like a shadow I can't shake. No, he's just sending his whole army to go catch mine now, because what else would he do? What else would he do in this situation? Obviously, he knows that I'm moving out. Right? It's not just obvi obviously. Obviously, I was going to move out at that exact time in that exact place, guys. You guys aren't clairvoyant? You guys aren't clairvoyant like this guy? No? He's just trying to make me mad, but I find it adorable. Now nah, people just do this for attention, you know? That this is it. This is this is how he gets his rocks off. Sometimes it'd be like that. Again, I'm like the hottest only guy that streams Terran. 
That's just the way it is, you know? It's just the way it is. He's just a huge fangirl. He's going to kill this base, lift everything off, and fly it right back to that outside spot and catch my army. That's what he's going to do. That's the only thing he's done the whole entire game. It's just chase my shit that he doesn't know about in the fog of war. That's it. It's all he does. Good boy. We got him to use all of his interference matrixes. That was important. Back and forth we go. But he's not going to go to that spot that he scanned. You know why? Because that's not where my army's going. He's swinging around right here as we speak. Probably right in that spot. Yep. He just wants this base. That's it. Yeah, now he's scanning for it. You think he's probably gonna try and eat it through the turrets just to fuck with me? It's my next guess. Yeah, I'm clairvoyant too. Oh, 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 oh! Wait, oh wait! I'm going to the right. Hang on, hang on. Let's go to the left. Let's go to the left side, guys. Let's go to the left side. Let's wait for him to scan our army in the middle of the map, and then we'll we'll switch sides. We'll pretend. We'll pretend we're playing a little seesaw with him, you know? He doesn't have a lot of friends on this playground. He peed in the pool. He got banned. It was a rough day for him. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Command Center 2.0, ready to go. Yeah, whatever. Well, what are you waiting for? Come get it. Come get it. Yes, Commander. Ah. Wait, wait, wait. I know how to motivate you. Let's take a base. What is it? Let's take a base. What is it? Come on, come on, Daddy. Got his base. Got his other base. Beautiful. Beautiful. I can feel him getting frustrated. Can feel it. Can feel it growing. We got 19 battle cruisers though. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. You've exhausted that Vespine guys. This is the one he's gonna stop me from, right? He's like, you can't take this base. That's not allowed. That's not allowed. No. What's going on? Your command center's got some new toys. Yes, sir. Yes, Commander. You hail? What is it? Oh, I see. He's trying to use the Thors to break that down. Your base is under siege. Fuck it. Let's go, bro. This is what you wanted. Your base is under 
Yeah, let's go, bro. That's the beauty of what just happened. Because your starports are gone now. Do you get it? Do you see? Yes. 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 GG. GG. Beautiful. GG. Oh, he started seven starports at the end. Uh. Oh. oh, thank you, John Vicious. Thank you for the 10 months, sir. Appreciate it, dog. Bro, when you roll this hard, man, people are going to want to get on the bandwagon and people are going to want to get in front of it. He made his choice. Close game, too. Close game. That was nuts. That was absolutely crazy. That was absolutely crazy. Ridiculous. Oh, yeah, he was playing unranked, too. Is anybody surprised? Let me guess. First game of the day? Yeah, only game he played today. Unranked versus me, and he got spanked. Well, I'm going to grab myself one last, uh, one last bottle of water. I'm going to refill my water one last time, play another game or two, and we'll wrap up the stream. How does that sound? I'll give you guys one or two more. I'm not going to kick it to a real break or anything. I'm just going to be right back. I appreciate y'all. Actually, Lewis wants to say hi. Come here. Come here. There, there he is. Lou wants to say hi. He loves you. Yeah. Yeah. This is my son. This is my son, Lewis. He's a very good boy. He is addicted to methamphetamines. We've sent him to rehab about three different times, but they keep falling in love with him and letting him out, so... It's kind of tough. It's kind of tough. Yeah, yeah. He's on that. He's on that. He's on that Albuquerque blue. You know. That's his little stuffed Pusheen guy. He loves Pusheen because I love Pusheen. Yeah, yeah. Good boy. Good boy. All right. I'll be right back, guys. He's. <laughs> hey, you guys want. You guys want to look at something funny? What? You can watch this guy. Wait for us to queue up again. You can watch him wait for us to queue up again. He's, uh, while I, while I step away, he's just right there. Oh, oh, he wanted to. Okay. Thank God. He went into a game right as I said that. That's amazing. We don't have to take a break. I was, I was just trying to get him to search for a game. Let's go next. <laughs> the way you abused that he could see your army was great. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, that's the thing. Could he use his F2 and click on the minimap to chase me down? Sure. But if I attack him in multiple places and he doesn't have the skill to deal with that, it doesn't matter if he can see everything. It doesn't even matter. Nate's paternal love is downright presidential. I love my family. What can I say? Uh, this game, we've got a Protoss player. I don't think I've played this guy before.
Yeah, I got Odin. I'm getting my shit on lock. What can I say? This is my show, baby, you know? Get a bunker, get some units in there. My phone's low power mode has been disabled as it has gone over 80% charge finally. you got ready for pickup where's the reporting for action got freedom somebody get me out of this mess wait i hear you life flight's here Uh-oh, did I bait it? Did I bait him? You just got baited, son. Let's go, let's go. How'd you like that? How'd you like that, baby? Come on, is that, you tell me that's not a little shake and bake? Huh, huh, seriously? Seriously? You gonna tell me I didn't just get inside this man's mind? You dig the Thor drop? Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I call it the Megazord Rush. That's why I play with the color green. So I can imagine that I'm doing that, you know, playing the song. He plays the song on his flute, it's like the dun 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 Yeah, and then he summons a dragon zord. Hell yeah. This is my dragon zord. And he tried to go for the medevac. He's like, oh, he's going to pick it up. He's like, oh, he's going to pick it up. Medevac ends up tanking enough. The Thor kills the Stalker in three hits. It's not bad. It's not bad. Another one bites the Dusto. Mm. That was a nice dub. That was a nice dub. 
Fantastic. We're getting up there, guys. We're getting up there. We're moving. We're moving that MMR up on this account. I haven't played on this one in about five years. I started it on this season again to see how see if we could get GM. I feel like we're probably gonna get there when it opens. That'll be nice. That'll be fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Summon the Dragon Zord on the Dragon Dagger. Yeah, you get it. You get it. You feel me. You feel me. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back. And we'll play one more, right? That seems that sounds good. Lewis is gonna get pissed. But all right, no, no, no. Let's just do one more game. Let's just do one more game and that's it. Let's just do one more game and that's it. Okay? It's gonna be fine. Everything is gonna be okay. I can't believe I got somebody with the Thor drop today, though. That's pretty remarkable. That's pretty remarkable, if you ask me. I got somebody with the Thor drop today. Fine, like, finally, right? Finally. If he had just attacked move, he would have got your Thor and survived. Yeah, it's true. It's true, though. That's a that's a part of the mind game play. It's a part of the mind game. It's a big it's a big part of it. This guy, Void Terror, his name stands out. I don't think I've ever played a macro game against him. I think he usually does some kind of one or two base all in. Yeah, now that's all that's coming to mind. I think I've only played short games with this player. Well, there's always a, there's always the way that people look at things, they, they assume that there's always a right and a wrong way because they see the person fail and they imagine in their mind what would be ideal. But the reality is, most of the time, like whatever you think is the obvious choice is probably not that obvious because it's not like you're perfect either. But the other difference is that you're not in a situation where you have to, like, you're, you, when you say something like that, you get to completely absolve yourself of the context of the original game state like in hindsight yes obviously he should have just a moved but in the moment i mean my control was pretty tight i'd already killed most of his probes there was a there was a very good chance i was going to get out with the thor and the medevac and in a way because i was staying as long as i was it was kind of a display of disrespect to him as well and i think that that's probably what frustrated him into tapping out or even even taking my bait because he basically just looked at it and was like, yeah, I've just been chasing this carrot on a stick all game. And he killed me. And he bullied me with the Reaper and the Hellions. Remember that? Remember when I killed his Adept and his Stalker at the start of the game with, a, with a two Reapers and one Hellion? Stuff like that. Stuff like that can break people. That can be enough to tilt someone. And once they're even the tiniest bit tilted, usually they play really, really bad compared to how they normally play. It's one of the reasons why I always go after my opponent's overlords. Even if this build isn't necessarily the best one, even though nobody who ever says that Gasless Expanding is bad is really able to quantify a value of loss there. They can't. But I digress. Being able to get the overlord kill occasionally, even if you don't think it's worth anything at all, I promise you it pisses the other guy off because it's the incorrect thing to do. Doing the incorrect thing deliberately against an opponent as a mind game, it's never really that bad. I imagine that people who play against me that know it's me say out loud to themselves the whole game, this guy is so dumb, his strategy is so stupid, I hate this guy, can't believe he does this battlecruiser shit every game, and I just like kind of nod along, I'm like, yes, yes, please, please get worked up playing against me and make mistakes and play worse. That's, that's a part of the game, that's a part of strategy. If you don't have the mental strength to handle me doing something that you don't want me to do, 
Well, it sounds like that's one of your flaws as a player, right? Kind of like, kind of that way. I do think the last couple times I played this guy, he one based me though, so I'm I'm just gonna show the teensiest bit of respect there with this siege tank. That's that's to me that's reasonable. This better be good. Ready to blunder. Pro brush and tournaments. Well, I mean that I feel like if you're talking about Nanny Waz specifically in that one situation, I think it's hard to argue that he didn't disrespect the fans. If people pay money to watch you play in a stadium and you deliberately throw a game just to be an asshole, that's that's definitely crossing a line. If you're in a stadium being paid to entertain people that paid for tickets there, regardless of your excuse, if you don't do it for the fans, you're a bitch. Straight up. If you can't keep your shit together for the fans, you don't belong here. I couldn't do it. That's why I'm out. But you know what? At least I learned that lesson. So I'll say it again. If you can't do right by the fans, get the fuck out. They're the people who watch. They're the reason why it happens. If none of them showed up, there'd be no next show. Just the way it is. Nothing about balance or competitive integrity matters as much as making sure the people that love the game get what they deserve. The fans. But yeah, bro, if I paid if I paid a thousand dollars for a plane ticket and then a thousand dollars for a hotel to go watch a a StarCraft tournament. And the pro player that I got to see, that I was excited to see, that I paid tickets to go watch play, didn't even, couldn't even do the courtesy of actually trying. Well, that would be really sad. That would make me, that would make me feel like an idiot for spending my money to go see that guy play. See, this is interesting. This is the first time this guy hasn't cheesed me. And he does a Hydra rush. No scout, too. Well, there you go, guys. There you go. It's just another day. It's another day in the void. He tried to catch me right as I came out. He's like, ah. I'm not surprised. playing any Madden? Yeah, I've been playing a little bit. Played a bit of Madden. It's been nice.
What is it? What? Go ahead. Yes. In the rear with the gear. Yes, command. Hut. Oh, really? Yes. Go ahead. Upgrade ready. Yes, What's going on? Well, what is it? Yes, Will. Ready to raise some hell. Oh, yeah, he's got the Vipers out. He's got the Vipers out, boys. Here we go. Mind out some of your minerals. Up your research has concluded. You mind out a mineral field. Good thing your command center 2.0 ready to go. Your command center got the ready. Big job. Add on done. SCV ready. The mass hydra no scout man. Here we go. We're boxed in. We're boxed in. What's he got? What's he got for us? What's he got for us? Show me your genius. Show me your genius, sir. Open up that big, beautiful brain for me. Why don't you? Why don't you? Your base is getting blasted. There it is. There it is. That's what I like, baby. That's what I like. That's what it's all about, man. That's what it's all about. Good beer, good times. Can you tell? Can you tell? How about this? If he gives up, I'll queue again. He can snipe me a second time if he wants. See if he's listening. <laughs> oh, we're so cooked. Oh, he's got some Hydras. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, he just, he no scout. He no scout just blindly rushed Hydra Viper. So, it's just kind of, he made it kind of obvious. So, what's that? Go ahead. Upgrade ready. More. SCB ready. We'll still, we'll still give it everything we've got. We'll still do the best we can. There's just, there's just not likely, not likely to be much else. Yeah, he already had like 25 Hydras by the time I had two BCs. He just rushed straight up there. So I, you just have to assume that he knew. Your base is getting he knew without scouting, so there's not much you can do there. Kind of like how he just went straight for that base too, right? It's tough. Right? 
center's got some new toys. Do your worst. Well, that's nice. You just ate a bunch of those. Sometimes it'd be like that. All right, GG. Obviously, people who play like that are not going to be beatable. I will we'll take a mulligan. I'm going to assume he'll try to snipe us again. That was the only game he played today. Looking at his match history, so we'll just dodge him and then we'll play one more. I don't want to end the stream. I don't want to end the stream giving somebody like that the satisfaction. I'll play one more unranked game once this guy queues up so we can we can finish with something a little more interesting than that. I got you guys. If he doesn't queue up within two minutes, then I'll end the stream. But I would I would like to give you a better send off than that if I can. Oh, he logged off. He logged off. We're good. We're good. We can play another. He logged on, played one game, beat me, logged off. He got what he wanted. See? Sometimes you just got to let them. You just let them do their thing, and then they get it off their, off their chest, and they have to go eat dinner or something. Easy peasy. What a champ. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. He's a big strong man, isn't he? He's a re he's a real man. All right, I've been searching for a game for 2 minutes, guys. I'm not getting any games. I guess everybody went to sleep. I guess everybody went to sleep, ladies and gentlemen. That's going to do it for tonight's show. Thanks for hanging out. I appreciate it as always. We'll be back on tomorrow, memeing and dreaming and wheeling and dealing and all that good stuff. Stay based. And uh, if I didn't tell you already, you're beautiful and you deserve love. See you tomorrow.